Howdy, howdy, howdy. I was gonna say, uh, how's it going, juggalos and juggalettes? Um, I just think I want to cultivate, like, a big juggalo fan base. Um, but, uh, uh, I've been hearing that juggalos, uh, might not be the most popular, um, fandom right now to try and capitalize on, so we'll, you know, we'll leave that be. Hi, how are ya? How's everyone doing? It is a, it's a hot Friday here in central Pennsylvania. Um, we're doing Starfield tonight because, uh, quite frankly, I can't stop thinking about the game. But maybe not for the best reasons. I can't decide on whether I like it or not. So we're going to play more of it. I know that means Zelda is getting the shaft this week. Let me just say, for all you Zelda heads, I do love Zelda. I've been having a ton of fun with Zelda. But maybe it wouldn't hurt to skip a week. You know, then when I come back to it, a little bit fresher. And I just, I have to, I have to play more Starfield. I just can't, I can't stop thinking about, like, whether the game is good. So, Chris, what's up? How are you doing? Well, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good, but worried i guess um tomorrow is either gonna be a really good day for me or a really bad day hoping for a good day i'm doing a ton of stuff tomorrow morning i'm going to um an antique machinery show i i, I don't know if we have time to get into it i i, I uh, i'm going to an antique machinery show and then a flea market, and then a farmer's market, and then tomorrow at like 3, Mega64, who's my favorite comedy group, are doing uh, like 7 hour live stream. Like my day tomorrow is back to back, pack to pack. And I'm hoping it goes well and it goes good, you know. Bit tired, said 25 hours of sleep. Oh my god. Don't do, don't do that. Get get some sleep. Yeah, it's okay to to tune out. It's listen. I get you know, I got vods. If you're losing sleep over me, I guess I should say. I that was real narcissistic of me. Um I know I'm the center of your life. No, but uh you know, I got vods and everything. If you if you really, you know, need your fix of me. There, there are ways to get it where you don't have to lose sleep. But totally understandable. 25 hours of sleep in a week is uh, not so good. It is not the healthiest amount of sleep. Um, <laughs> I've been there, though. I, I empathize with you because, oh, brother, I've had weeks where I think I've gotten even less sleep than that. But... It's better to sleep than to not sleep. Just a little, you know, word of the wise, piece of advice. I'm kind of wise. Yeah, get get more consistent sleep. For sure. You listen. You might, you know, I I I get it. I've um I've had many a sleepless night. Or many a uh, not much sleep night. And it, it catches up to you after a while, man. Straight up. Uh, you you Even if you're like, oh, I could do this. I can do this for a while. For at least for me. I guess I'm speaking just for myself. Oh, man. There was, there was a period where I'm like, yeah, I only need like four hours of sleep a night. And I did that for like a month and I'm like, I can do this. This is sustainable. And then like month two hit of that. And it was like, am I dying? Should I go to a doctor? Listen to your body. Listen to your mind. Sleeping half this weekend. Same, but... <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you're losing sleep to catch my streams, I appreciate it, but your health is more important than a, than a random guy on the internet. 
Your health is more important than me <laughs> running around and screaming in Pikmin. <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope I hope you're able to catch some Z's. I hope you're able to get some good sleep, some good rest. Because if you get, you know, if you don't, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I was going to say, if you die, I would be sad. <laughs> and like, wow, thank you, streamer. <laughs> Very cool. Water Wraith yesterday was amazing, though. I, I had so much fun with that. I'm glad you enjoyed that. I, I really do love when Pikmin gets hard. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I guess I can't speak to this too much, but, because I haven't finished the game yet, but I wish Pikmin 4 was maybe a little bit harder. Like, you've got the rewind day thing and everything, so it is, like, easy and accessible to people who want that. And because of that, I wish Pikmin 4 was a little bit harder. But maybe, maybe I just did the first step into the hard stuff we'll find out but because i feel like that's the funniest stuff when like 30 of your pikmin die immediately i think that's hilarious maybe that's a little fucked up to say <laughs> been made a lot easier to appeal to a broader audience of younger children Okay, yeah, I, I would agree with that. It definitely, 4 feels like, I mean, it's like it's like a soft reboot, right? So, like, I, I definitely think they did that so you could be like, oh, here's Baby's first Pikmin game. You know, if it, this is a great jumping on point, and that's cool, and I'm fine with that. I just, yeah, maybe I wish it was a little bit harder while also having, like, Rewind Day and... and the options to make it easy, you know? Good game, though. Holy shit, good game. But... <sighs> upsetting for a longtime Pikmin fan? That's fair. Yeah, I mean, as far as, far as I know about you hardcore pickheads, you guys love... Horrific Pikmin Massacre. <laughs> You guys love a challenge, and I do too, which is why I always, I've always felt bad that I didn't really play two and didn't play three. Because I think those games shine when you are in like full panic difficulty mode, you know, like I think those games shine when everything's going bad and you have to panic to figure out how to save it. Pikmin 2 is probably the most challenging. That's what I've heard. Um, there's some, like, dungeon in Pikmin 2, and I can't, I don't know the name of it, but there are... I don't know if they're enemies or if they're level hazards. I can't remember, but I remember seeing footage of... They, like, just shoot air. They just, like, blow... And them, like, hitting and just launching all of these Pikmin off the level, they all die. And it was a streamer playing it, and that happened, and he's just sitting there, he's like... What? What the fuck do I do now? <laughs> so, I'm gonna play Pikmin 2 on stream at some point. Like I said, I've got it on GameCube. Somewhere, though. Right, right in the middle. You see, you see this one right here with the yellow. That's Wind Waker. The one right above it is Pikmin Two. But it's kind of a borked copy of Pikmin Two, um, because I got it. I got a deal on it. I got Pikmin One and Two for like, I think it was like seventy bucks. So it was kind of a deal, but Pikmin 2 was definitely well loved. Where sometimes when starting a new level, 
when the game needs to load, so like starting a new level or like going into the Piclopedia, the game can't read the disc. And so I have to pop it out of the Wii and then put it back in the Wii and then it reads it fine. It's very weird. Um, I should maybe try to get the thing buffed. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. But yeah, um, Pikmin 1 worked great though. And it's like, well, you know, if my if my copy of Pikmin 2 really is that fucked and I can't play it, like I could get I could get the version on Wii. Or I they've got this the Switch version now. So the only thing with the Switch version is I I know that they changed the items in the Switch version to not be like American brand products. And I love that. I, I, I think that's such like charming world building to have those American brand products, you know, like the Energizer battery and shit. So it, I, I don't want to play the Switch version if I can get my GameCube version working clean. But again, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, I saw, that's the thing is I was like 70 bucks for Pikmin 1 and 2. 70 bucks for two GameCube games usually is like a good deal anymore. GameCube games, the price on those have gone crazy. Um, but I was like, well, are, is this like, is this a good deal for these? And like Pikmin 1 was like on pricecharting.com was like, I don't know, like 35, 40 bucks, some, somewhere around that. I'm like, okay, how much is Pikmin 2? It was like, Pikmin 2 Complete is like, yeah, like 80 bucks. And I'm like, oh, oh, so this is a really good deal then. Yep. Okay. Original treasures feel much more personal. Duracell battery. Okay. Yeah. So I, I heard that like on the Switch version, for obvious reasons, for understandable reasons, uh, like they had to change all that. Um... Because company branding and everything. And I think, I, like, I get it. And they, they tried their best to replicate it. But I do like having the real branding. GameCube wasn't popular all during its lifetime. But it's gotten much more respected ever since noon. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, that happens. I, I That happens all the time, you know, with, with retro games. Where it's like, game comes out and... Or, or something comes out and is really, like, highly reviewed, but doesn't sell great. Or even just in general, doesn't sell great. Doesn't even have to be highly reviewed. Look at Devil's Third. But if it doesn't sell well 20 years from now, it's going to be five times the price. And so it's hard to like, but it's hard to like, know if you're into like a speculating, like, oh, well, what's the price of this? It's hard to really know. Like there's obvious things where it's like, okay, it didn't sell well. Uh, no shit. You know, like Alvin and the chipmunks on Wii. Like, is that game going to be a $95 game in a few years? I kind of doubt that. Uh... But, like, again, Devil's Third. I remember when Devil's Third came out, I think it was, or it was a little bit after it came out. I think they published, like, the sales numbers. And it was like, yeah, Devil's Third sold, like, 100 copies. And it was like everyone I knew, like, ran to GameStop after that and bought Devil's Third. And we're like, yeah, this the price on this thing is going to be insane. And then, yeah, now Devil's Third is, like, a crazy expensive game. It's so weird. It's why I'm kind of, like, out of retro gaming. Um, buying physical copies of retro game. Because it's just like, ah. Uh, if I want to play Silent Hill 3, my choice is emulation. 3. Or spend like 150 bucks. And it's like, well, I think I know what option I'm going to go with. Can't even hook my Wii to my new TV. 
Yeah, I, I, so, I, I, you know, it's. I think old consoles are always going to be able to be played. But I think it's going to be... Having physical retro games is going to become more and more of a niche thing. For sure. I think. Like, I, I think as we reach a point where, like, TVs will only take HDMI, I think we're going to reach a point where, like, retro gaming, physical retro gaming is going to be, it's already pretty niche, but it's going to be really, really niche. And uh, when that happens, um, I'll, I'm just going to emulate. I'm just going to, just going to emulate. My my stance on it now is like I I pretty I pretty much emulate unless it's a game that I know that I I'll, I really love. Um you know, like I will play a game through emulation and then if I'm like okay that was that was really really dope I want to get a physical copy of that to have. You know, you never know what's going to happen to the internet and, and laws on the internet. So I always like to get a physical copy. If it's a game I really love or if it's a game I know I'm going to love before I play it. Right? Like I, I went and bought Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, 2, 12... I bought all those this year because I'm like, okay, those are games like I could totally emulate them and get them how I want. Where I don't, I don't want them stretched to widescreen and and high res. Like I want them to look like how they looked. And I've got a CRT TV right off camera here. You see it in the stream intro and everything. And I can, it's hooked up to my PC, so I can just emulation. Put it on that, and that helps. But with those games, it was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the hell out of those games. You know, like I'm gonna love these games. I'll just buy them. They're not like crazy expensive. I'll just buy them physically. But it's um, retro gaming is a strange, ever-changing world, and it's. For me personally, it reached a point where I'm like, oh, I can't keep up and I've ruined it for myself. <laughs> like, I can't keep up with like, oh, like if you get this upscaler and then these chords and then do this and then mod your console like this, then you can output it HDMI to your 4K TV. And it was like, I don't know what's going on. So I just, I was like, okay, I'm just going to figure out a thing that works. And I, I did. I'm, I'm very happy with my retro gaming setup. But I kind of ruined retro gaming for myself because I was just like, I'm going to buy everything. I'm gonna, there was a point where I was going to buy every single PlayStation 1 game because I'm a PS1 head. And so I'm like, my game collection, like you see how, like this is all PS1 games. It used to be this up was all PS1 games, but it was like 90% of it was garbage. You know, 90% of it was, was Bob the Builder, uh, you know, Madden, like it was just trash. And so it ruined retro gaming for me or, or buying retro games. Cause it was just like, Oh, I'm going to go spend a insane amount of money on games. I will never play. So I sold them all. I sold all the things I didn't want. I only keep retro games that I love. Um, or find interesting. Because if you look at my retro game collection, um, it's like, why do you have, um, excuse me, why do you have uh, Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies? Because I find it interesting, you know. <laughs> hey, I didn't throw away Bob the Builder. I sold it. And then the the game store I sold it to probably threw it away. But 
it's like I said, retro gaming's. I love retro gaming. That's my that's my preferred. Retro indies are usually what I play in in Nintendo games. But physically buying retro games is a very, it's not something I do much anymore. Because it's just, it's too damn expensive. It's too hard to find. It's, um, sucks, you know. A couple years ago, around, like, around COVID, or I would say like 2021, I was actually really obsessed on the stream of talking about the retro game price bubble. Now everything was shooting way up in price because people were home. They were locked at home during COVID and they wanted to indulge in nostalgia. And so they just, they got into retro gaming. But then the second wave hit of people being like, I can make money on retro games. And so it became this whole like scalper market and it was terrible. Um, and so it was just like, uh, I, w I was really, really into talking about that and watching videos about it on stream. But that was a different time. And uh, now there's no uh, scalpers or scammers anymore. They are, they're all uh, very nice and will give you Silent Hill 2 for free. Oh yeah, gaming gaming in general, yeah, is pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean the only time the only the only way to like get a game for a decent price anymore is wait for a sale or wait for it to be like 5 years old. And then you get it for, like, a good price. Is my copy of Leaf Green worth a thousand dollars? Well, did you get it graded by WADA Games? What is... I just, you know, I have all of my Pokemon stuff. And I'm never gonna play it again. And so, some I do think about sometimes, like... Just taking it over to my local game store... And just getting rid of it. Just selling it. Leaf Green Loose is $84.50 on price charting. So I could probably make three, four hundred dollars if I took everything over, all of my Pokemon games over. But I like. I don't need to do that so I just don't do that I don't need that money so it you know it is it is uh it is as they say as it is but I guess if I ever run into a situation where I like desperately need money I could take it over to my my local retro game store and they, they usually pay out pretty fair. I found with the expensive games, with ones that like do numbers on price charting, I think they know that a lot of people look at price charting. And they're usually pretty fair on paying the person selling the game. The thing is, is then when they put it in their display case, that's when they hike the price up. Like Pokemon Leaf Green loose on price charting, it's 84 bucks. They would probably give me like 75. That's fair. But then when they put it in their case, they would sell it then for like a hundred, 120. So it's, you know, I, again, it's a thing where like I just don't buy retro games anymore because it's such like a, a, a weird market. I do it if it's something that I'm like, oh, I, I want to own this. I want to get this. Or if it's something that, like, I see and I'm like, that looks weird. I'm interested. Which still gets me in more trouble than it's worth. But 
Pelamoon, Lucas, what's up, guys? No way, you're gonna sell your Pokemon? I might. When I, if I need the money, I will. I don't need the money right now. I'm rich. Do you see this number? Do you see the sub number? I'm rich. I don't even. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy more Pokemon. Dridges, not cards. You store a shoelace in a vacuum sealed box. It'll be worth gold in 500 years. Real. That's like advice that you would see on like TikTok, like from like finance bros on TikTok. Certain amount of fakes duplicates, yes, hundred percent. Which is, I don't know, crazy. Um, it just—it's like a snake eating its own tail, you know. Like it just self fulfills, where there's all these fakes, and that hikes the prices up. And then when the prices are up, people are making fakes to scam for those prices. It's just. I will occasionally, I like to go on Facebook Marketplace and just, you know, because sometimes I do get insane deals on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and sometimes like Pokemon games will show up on that and they'll be like, they'll be like, this is my real copy of Pokemon Silver on the Game Boy Color. I got this for my son when he was five. You know, it's stuff like that. Where it's like, and they're selling it for like 20 bucks. And it's like, do I buy it and risk it? Because if I buy it and it's real, that's a profit, you know? But if, do I risk? Is this someone who doesn't know what they have? Which happens a lot. Or is this someone who knows what they have? And are trying to make a buck. Which also happens a lot. So it's. Uh, it's it's difficult to navigate. And that's why like I'm just. I'm just out on it. Like I just. I don't have the time, energy, or want. To like learn how to spot fake Pokemon cartridges. You know like I. Nah I'm good. The thing that I will do and make a little bit of a profit on it and get some, I use it, I sell it for in-store credit and then I get more retro games, is I will buy broken consoles. I like doing that. I like doing like, yeah, this is my, uh, this was my cousin's Xbox and it doesn't turn on anymore. Five bucks and then I'll buy it and I'll go, okay, why doesn't it turn on? Oh, because the uh, power supply was busted. Okay, here's a new power supply. Okay, it works. Take it to my local store, game store, retro game store. They give me, you know, $30 in-store credit. That's $25 profit in-store credit. I use that to get a retro game. You know? Buying retro games planning to profit is glorified gambling. 100%. I mean, any speculative market is. I, again, there's a... I, I did this, I watched these on streams a few years ago. There's there's some really great videos from like Carl Jobst about WADA games and like the collectibles market and like driving prices up on that. Make just making up insane prices. I recommend his videos tremendously to learn more about um how fucked everything is. <laughs> But it's, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm like, I'm good on a lot of that. I'll just emulate it. That's it. You know, I, I, there's not many retro games that I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. I want to get that. And the ones that are, I have searches set up on eBay to let me know when people put them up. And then I check the price and I go, no, 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 no. I'm looking for a deal on this. I am not paying, you know, more than what price charting listed at. And I've and I've gotten gotten a lot of stuff recently through just like doing that method on eBay of just like checking every listing and being like, 
Okay, someone here is... This is like the fourth time they've relisted this copy. I'm going to offer them this price. Okay, they accepted it. Parasite Eve is a good example of that. Where, like, I wanted Parasite Eve. Went, looked it up. Went, mm hmm. Okay, that's what the price everyone's paying. That's the price charting price. This is the price that people are listing on eBay. Saved a search. Waited like two weeks. Found an auction that was ending in like an hour. And it was like 30 bucks. And I was like, okay, I'm going to bet $31, $32, $33, $34, 35 And I think I got this for like 40 bucks. And uh, I am fairly certain... Uh, I'm fairly certain Parasite Eve goes for more than like 40 bucks. I did that with a bunch of Square RPGs this year. Yeah, Complete and Bonks is like 65 I got it for like a $25 deal. That's pretty good. I I don't ask for, you know, I'm not trying to rip people off. But part of the fun of it for me is like, can I get like, can I get like $5 off the price charting price? Like I like to haggle. I'm a haggleman. So um, my favorite thing is how the system that's popular to collect is always 20 years behind because all the kids who grew up and have money Yes, 100%. We were talking about GameCube earlier. Um, GameCube prices are insane now. PS2 prices, it depends on the game. GameCube is a thing where like it's like every game is expensive. If you want to get Finding Nemo on the GameCube, it's going to cost you more than it would for the PlayStation 2 version, which is weird. But it's it's people who grew up with the GameCube and now have now I have jobs are making their own money and are like, oh, I want to get every GameCube game. But I'm uh, I'm fortunate, I guess. <laughs> I'm I'm a I'm a PS1 and PS2 head. And so for me, like prices aren't too bad. It depends on the game though. PS1 more so. PS1's starting to get up there in prices. PS2 things are still manageable for most games. You can still get Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 for good price, you know? Nothing crazy. Silent Hill, on the other hand, if it's a survival horror game that's good... You're, you're paying dick and lick for it. You know, like you are, you're dead. <laughs> Did I buy Silent Hill 2? Actually, I should look into that. Give me one second. I can't, that's how rich I am from all my Twitch money is I can't even remember if I bought Silent Hill 2. No. Oh. Um, I didn't buy Silent Hill 2. I played Silent Hill 2 on stream last year for Halloween. And uh no, they are or ordered alphabetically. That's why I had to look. But I was like I was looking at um SmackDown versus Raw going like okay, S. And then it was like Y before that. I'm like Huh? It's cause I put a I live WWE SmackDown versus Raw. Anyways. I played Silent Hill 2 on stream last year. Adored it. 
right? That was my first time playing Silent Hill 2. Adored it. And then it was like, okay, I'm going to buy Silent Hill 2 and 3. And I think, if I remember correctly, I did buy Silent Hill 2. But eBay is an interesting website where you can uh, win an auction. And if the person who put it up for auction doesn't like the price that you won the au auction at, they could say no. No, no. I'm pretty sure that's... It was either Silent Hill 2 or 3 that happened to me with. Where I won the auction and, and got it for like... I think I got it for like... I think I won the auction at like 60 or 70 bucks. Which is an insane price for Silent Hill 2. And then the person who put the auction up just went, no. And rescinded the thing and then relisted it. And I was like, you fucker. So, yeah, unfortunately, the only Silent Hill I own anymore or, or at all was one. But I got that one on an insane deal. I actually, I bought a lot. A full, it was a giant box of PS1, PS2, and PS3 games on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I mean, it had to have been like 30 or 40 games I got for 50 bucks. Because the first picture, there was a copy of Silent Hill in it. And I went, uh, Silent Hill's like $70. So I just went, uh, is this still available? And bought it. I was like, I don't even care what else is in the box. And there was there was some other like good stuff in the box. But it was like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a deal on Silent Hill 1. Thanks, I'll just take that. You have massive game collection. I'm a bit jealous. Listen, I, I like I said, it used to be, it used to be like double this size. Um, the recliner kind of covers it up. It does go all the way down. It used to be double this size, and it was it was a nightmare. I was so unhappy with it because it was like, here's every Madden game. Why do I have this? Why am I'm I'm never gonna play Madden? Why do I have this? What matters is not the amount of games. What matters is what those games mean to you, you know? The quality versus quantity or over quantity or whatever. You should always ask for $5 off. It's worth a shot. Otherwise, yeah, for sure. I always do that. I always go like, if I'm buying multiple things, um, IRL, not at like Walmart. But if I'm going to like, uh, again, tomorrow I'm going to like flea market. If I buy like two things, I'll be like, can I get... Would you do, would you do $5 off on this? And most times people say yes. Sometimes people do not say yes in our assholes. And I go, you know what? I'm good. Thanks. If they say, if they're like, no, nah, I got to get full price. That's fine. That's totally fine. But I've had times where I'm like, can you do, I would, there was one time I bought, I had like six games. And it came out to like a hundred bucks. And I'm like, would you be willing to do like 90? And the guy's like, no, I fucking would not. Listen, you either pay what I'm asking or you can get the fuck out of here. And I went, all right, thanks. And he's like, I'm like, I'm not interested anymore. Thanks. And just like set him down. And I didn't, I didn't buy him. The moral of the story is, uh, be nice. Thank you. It's saying Games Hall, rarest PS1 game found. Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to see the rarest PS1 game I own? Marketplace is weird. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of trolls out there. Oh, I think there are. Uh, you got to be real vigilant on stuff, I think. Um, I've had some encounters that were like kind of weird. But it's it's always turned out fine. Um, I mean, the best straight up chat. To be real with you, the best thing I ever got on Facebook Marketplace was this CRT. Hold on, let me do this. This this CRT. Um, I've I've had I've had a gagillion CRTs in the past. It all like pretty small and all composite video 
this one is component and i was like okay that's pretty good i want that it's pretty big it was actually bigger than i thought it was gonna be but it was component video and the guy wanted like 20 bucks for it he was uh he had he had just had a kid and he was like yeah i gotta like downsize my retro game collection because my retro game room is now going to be like the kids playroom so he had like three component crts he was getting rid of i bought two one for me one for my brother and at the uh, i don't know if any of you guys were here when this happened on stream this was at the like towards the start of this year kirby was kirby can vouch for this I was genuinely like upset that I bought this because it, it, this TV is big and it's heavy as fuck. It is so heavy. It's way bigger than I wanted for a CRT. Because uh, because in high school, I had a giant, I had like a 48 inch CRT. That thing weighed like three times as much as me. Anyways, so I wanted to stick with small CRTs, but I, I went nuts and I bought this one because it had component video and I was really bummed about it. I was really, really bummed about it. And like Kirby made fun of me and everything because I, I, I was really bummed about it. Now, I will confidently say this is the best thing I've like, I've bought off Facebook Marketplace. This is the best thing I've ever bought, I think, secondhand. Because I use it all the time. For retro games, for me, it, it awakened a, a whole lifestyle for me. Where um, I have I have a whole I have a 14 terabyte hard drive now that's just filled with tape rips of television channels from like the 90s and the 2000s and I just put it on the CRT and I I just enjoy that like this went from a, a big regret to something that I like I'm so happy I pulled the trigger on I'm so happy I got this thing. Because now I can watch uh, Rugrats. Uh, what brand is it? It's a Philips. A Philips. Yeah, it's a... Uh, very happy with this thing. Which I, w I was not... <laughs> like, earlier this year. Like, literally the moment I bought it. I brought it home and I was like, it's too big. Oh no, it, it's it's too big. Why is it that big? And um, now I love it. Now I'm very happy with it. But I, I only got it because I kept a vigilant eye. I kept watching for CRTs because I wanted a CRT with component video. Kept watching for it. And then after months and months found one for a good price got lucky grabbed it and and again regretted it because of the size but now i'm really happy with it so looks at the marketplace offers for retro games in my region the prices suck yeah you kind of have to uh, my tip is um don't look for retro games on marketplace just scroll through marketplace because uh a lot of people know what they have and want you to pay out the ass for it um anytime i've gotten retro games off marketplace it's been in a, a big bundle of stuff it's been like selling my uncle's dvd collection and then it's like, oh, there's like all the Hot Shots golf games. Yeah. Five bucks for each. Like, yeah, I'll get that. Used to be a bit of a CRT hunter because I played Smack. Yeah. Yeah. Sony's, Sony's are the Holy Grail. The Sony Trinitrons are the Holy Grail. And I think if I could find a component Sony Trinitron for a decent price i would i would get in on that i would maybe find find someone who wanted this beautiful baby and and replace it with a sony trinitron but i'm not looking too hard i'm not i'm not needing one of those right now i'm very happy with what i've got my only complaint with this crt 
is that um, it has a feature. Uh, you go to the features menu. Menu on the remote, and you go to features. And there's a feature called expand 4x3. And it's, it's really helpful for me because my PC over to the CRT isn't... I had to fuck with aspect ratios and resolutions, and it isn't completely perfect. It's good enough... You'd only notice something was wrong if you have severe brain rot, like I do. So expand 4x3 is great because it, it fills the picture, top and bottom, if I need it. But there's nothing to stretch horizontally. And that's where I get my brain rot. That's where I get the brain rot, where it's good enough... But it's like two rows of pixels, too short on the right side, and it just, ooh, it's a little, the, the, there's a little bit of black on the right side. It's like two lines of pixels straight up. It is not noticeable unless you have brain rot. So it, it drives me nuts that I can't stretch the picture two rows of pixels. Can't do it on PC. I've tried. Can't. There's no feature to do it on the CRT. <sighs> so it is, and it's it's not noticeable. It's way more noticeable when I'm sitting at my desk. When I'm sitting in the recliner, which when I use that CRT nine times out of ten, I'm on the recliner, feet up. You know, I'm a, I'm a dad on on uh, you know football weekend, baby. I'm feet up, drink in hand. Uh, but I'm instead of football, I'm watching like Dexter's Lab. Um, it's it's very not noticeable when when it's like that. But I know it's there. <laughs> There's also a weird thing where if I can send like a 4K resolution, or no 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 sorry, if it's a 1080P resolution being sent to this TV. In the top left corner, there's slight discoloration. I don't understand why. It's only when a 1080p signal is being sent. And so sometimes I get the I download these tape rips from online, internet archive or something. And the person who uploaded them didn't really know what they were doing. And so they encode them as 1080p. And when I try and watch it on the CRT, then it's slightly discolored in the corner. Again, not a noticeable amount for someone with a normal brain. For me, I'm like, ooh, ah! it drives me up a wall. So then I have to get into Adobe Premiere and put the thing in and then re-export it and <laughs> but like lower the resolution and then it's great and then it's fine. I, uh, my friends are like genuinely starting to con get concerned about the amount of brain rot I have about watching media on the CRT. Like, I obsessively am talking about, like, yeah, you know, you gotta get you gotta get content that's 4x3. If you wanna watch Rugrats on this thing, you gotta get in 4x3, but then you gotta use VLC Media Player to stretch it to 16x9, because the picture... I, I, it, it, like, my, my PC... Thinks that this is a 16 by 9 monitor. It's not. It's 4 by 3. But if I put 4 by 3 content on this thing through my PC, if I'm playing a game or whatever, I use the open source scan converter. It looks good. I got no problems there. But chat, we're gonna be here the next hour. Get ready. Two hour intro coming in. If I'm watching a tape rip or something, my PC thinks this is a 16 by 9 monitor. So if I put 4x3 content on the 16x9 monitor that is there and then for squished in. Do you, do you understand? It's squished. So it's not proper 4x3. It's not even close to 4x3. I don't know what aspect ratio it is. So what I have to do is I have to take 4x3 content, stretch it to 16x9. So then when it's, when it's sent to my CRT, it's squished back to 4x3.
Uh oh. Uh oh, VOD watchers. Hey, VOD watchers, you're the only one who's seeing this. Shit is going down. Shit is falling apart. This is now a segment for you and me. Uh, I think it's just. Can anyone else see me? <laughs> Chat, can you see me? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, Alright, VOD watchers, this is just you and me now. I'm going to try and fix this live on stream. You got to give me one... One minute. VOD watchers, this is exclusive content. You'll be able to tell all your friends. Oh my god, I got to see the exclusive funny little guy content. Yup. Real. Only you got to see this. Come on. Come on, baby. 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 Should be working. Should be working for more than just the VOD watchers. Okay. Sorry about that. I had my uh, VPN still on, and it does not agree uh, sometimes, so I had to turn my VPN off. Did you guys get all that, or do I need to pick up from somewhere and repeat... I take 4x3 content, I stretch it to 16x9, send it to my CRT, which then squishes it back to 4x3. I literally jump through like 17 hoops to get it to look good on my CRT, and it's... Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. Oh my god, you don't even... Listen, you he if you're in the retro gaming scene, you hear a lot about, like, games look better on a CRT. That's true. Retro games look better on a CRT. They were designed for a CRT. They don't talk about watching media that was made for a CRT on a CRT. Oh, my God, dude. You... Listen... You throw on a Dexter's Lab episode, and that shit looks crisp. That shit, the colors are popping. And you throw it on with a little bit of commercials. You throw it, it's a tape rip. You might as well pretend it's the year 2000. 9-11, never heard of it. Or you could throw on 9-11 broadcasts and like, pr like pretend you're hearing about it for the first time. That's a little weird. That's a little much. That's a little... Don't do that. But... Can I really judge you? I put on... I put on... I got a... I got a 16 hour. This is my... This is my darkest secret. I'm telling you this... Can we keep this between you and me? I have a 16 hour... Rip. That is the... Non-stop Nicktoons weekend... From, I want to say 98. No, 93. No, that's not right. Two thousand two. Okay. Um, I have the two thousand two nonstop Nicktoons weekend. Wait, no, I have this I have this fucked up chat. I it's the 1996 Nonstop Nicktoons weekend cuz it's hosted by Keenan and Cal. Chat, I put that thing on my CRT. I sit in my recliner. I pretend like it's 1996. I sit there I sit there with that. I'm like I'm doing that on the CRT. I got my monitor set up. I'm like playing GoldenEye by myself, which is really sad. I pretended like it's 1996. I was born in 1997. I am truly a pathetic creature. <laughs> sad. <laughs> Honestly sad.
It really, Chant, I have I have a 14 terabyte hard drive. Currently, uh, I got like nine and three quarters of it free. So what is that? Three and a quarter terabytes worth of tape rips. I am God's most pathetic creature. <laughs> the rare rare hat would have killed 98. I like to think so. I like to think that it kills now. It doesn't. <laughs> it. You know what? A surprising amount of people do get it. A surprising amount of people in like I'll, I wear the, this is my hat. Like I wear this to work and everything. A surprising amount of people do go like, oh, dude, rare, rare. Dude, didn't they do, uh, didn't they do, uh, like, freaking, uh, like, Banjo-Kazooie? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. What are they making now? Nothing. Well, they're making Sea of Thieves. Or, no, they got that, they got that other game that's, like, in development hell. Whatever. But, yeah, this is my, this is my hat. Anyways, the point of the story is... Um, I am a glutton for nostalgia. But it, it can't be like, hey guys, remember, do you guys remember Powerpuff Girls? No. No. That is, that is, that is a light dusting of nostalgia. I, when I indulge in nostalgia, it is a fucking double fisted of nostalgia. Don't clip that. Of nostalgia um, to a point that it, it scares my friends. To a point where my friends are concerned and have told me to stop. No. If I wanna if I wanna sit in my room and watch four hours of Rugrats from Nickelodeon in 1997. Who am I, who am I hurting by doing that? Me? Well, uh I, I, that's my problem. I'm to sound like um like someone who has an addiction. I don't <laughs> Guys, I can stop watching Rugrats whenever I want, okay? I get feelings of nostalgia from anything but the most specific recreation of my memory of that thing. Yup. I'm the same way. I don't... And I wonder... For me... I wonder if it's because... Um, my whole life... Has been an indulgent... In nostalgia. And not even necessarily my own. Um, I, I've spoken at length before about borrowed nostalgia. And how for me... My borrowed nostalgia... Is now becoming real nostalgia. I have, I had borrowed nostalgia for like the Disney afternoon, right? Or like Animaniacs of like, oh man, like this is a great show. It must have been so cool to be a kid in 1993 and watch this. And I would become obsessed with these things. And now it's, you know, 10, 15 years after I had this borrowed nostalgia for it. And now I have real genuine nostalgia for it. But because my whole life has been this borrowed nostalgia or chasing my actual nostalgia. Now, the only thing that gives me that nostalgic feeling is to just completely immerse myself in it. Old series get rebooted or something doesn't give me nostalgia. Oh, but, oh, for sure. Uh, whenever I see an old series re get rebooted, it does not. It absolutely doesn't give me nostalgia. It makes me go, don't do that. Please stop doing that. Because at the same time, while I am a nostalgia hound, I'm also, um, uh, you know, I prefer... Uh, I prefer kids not to have that experience that I had. I think it would be better if children didn't go like, man, Rugrats was so cool. Let them have their own things. 
Let them have their own thing. You know? But, yeah, I, I am of the same way of, like, I have to just, like, fully be indulging in it. It can't be like, oh, do you guys remember? You guys remember, um, Tailspin? And it's like, yeah. That does nothing for me. But to go like, well, I guess I should give an example for my actual show. Going like, hey, you guys remember Invader Zim? Yeah. That does nothing for me. But for me to have a tape rip of like a two hour marathon of Invader Zim from like 2003 with commercials, that's what gets me nostalgic. That's what gets me being like, man, this shit. What a, th what a thing Invader Zim was. Am I broken? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, the, the, the Enter the Floor Press, it was fun. It was good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Same with Rocco's Modern Life Static Cling. I liked that. I loved that movie. Didn't give me nostalgia. What gave me, what gives me nostalgia is uh, watching Rocco's Modern Life on my CRT. It's just, it's a weird, I, I don't know. Um, should we go to therapists? Maybe. Lucas, you want to go to couples therapy with me? Maybe. I we have to recreate how my room looked back then to feel the nostalgia. That's fair. Um, I, I don't need it to go that far. Though, sometimes, I do sometimes get lost in the sauce in the mental immersion that I'm in an old place. That makes me sound like I'm actually going insane. I will try to explain. I will I will sit in the chair, I will watch like old Cartoon Network rips. And mentally I just I think about my grandmother's house. Of which I, you know, she died in 2013. Haven't been there for a decade. But that was where I, I watched the most of anything. That was where I watched the most TV. And so when I watched like Cartoon Network tapes, I, I think about that place. And I just get like lost in, in chasing, mentally chasing that nostalgia. Like, I enjoy, I'm enjoying, you know, watching Cartoon Network stuff. Especially as an adult, getting this new appreciation for it. But it really is a, like, just thinking about that place. You know? It's, um, nostalgia is a tricky thing. Because, and, and listen, this is a cliche. You've heard it a hundred times. It's never as good. It's never as good. You can do everything in your power to make it exactly the way it was. But it's never as good. Why? My theory, my thought on it. You can, you can recreate your room. You can put on your favorite episode of your favorite show with commercials that you remember. But it's, it's different. Because the people are different. You are different. You can chase going back. You can chase being the person you were, but you're not. And you know you're not. You're different. And the people in your life are different. They're gone. Or they're changed. It's never going to be the same. 
And that's sad. It's it's very sad. And that's the double-edged sword of nostalgia. Like it's I'm I'm having I'm having so much damn fun watching shit on my CRT. And like thinking about my grandma's house. But it's not the same. Oh, she's dead. I'll never go back there. House is long sold. I'll never be able to go back. I'll never be able to go back to being seven years old and spending an entire Saturday afternoon watching Cartoon Network. You know? And that's sad. But isn't that life? Isn't life... Oh, man. Chat, well, this is still the intro to the stream. Um, isn't life really kind of just the double-edged sword? It's happy, and it's it fills you with joy, and it cuts you down, you know? And so, nostalgia is this double-edged sword where you're always chasing something you can't have. You'll never get it back. Ever. But... You can come to it as an adult. You can come to it as the person you are now. You can appreciate it. You already appreciated it in the way you did then. You can appreciate it in the way you can now. And that's what's been really rewarding for me. Is like... As a kid, I never watched Toonami. I was sorry. I didn't watch Toonami in its golden age. I watched it whenever it was just like Naruto. And I'm having so such a good time with these old Toonami tape rips. Watching like Sailor Moon and Dragon Ball Z and shows that I never got the opportunity to experience but were of that era that I got to experience. And so I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying like getting to watch Giant Robot Week on Toonami. You know, like I'm getting to enjoy the things that I never got to enjoy as a kid. And that's exciting and fun. Is it is it um is it is it better than um you know, living my life now as, a, as an adult, as a 25-year-old man, is it better than that? No. Um, you know, going out and making fresh newness is definitely better than binging on the oldness. But it's fun. What to do on a weekend. What to do in moderation. It. I really feel like it's helping heal my inner child which is a weird phrase that means a lot of different things for a lot of different people but um and it's um it's uh, honestly it's helping me reconnect with like a very creative side of my brain now we're getting too deep. Well, chat, thanks for coming to my therapy session. Don't don't know if I need to invite all of you. I think the therapist is going to charge for um, each individual person. So, um, sorry. But it's just weird. Nostalgia is a double-edged sword. But um, I think it's... I think if you can accept the part of it that hurts, you can really enjoy the part of it that doesn't. Anyways... You didn't know me 10 years ago, so your life is better now. It's, uh, Tsunami rules. Tsunami rules. <laughs> we should probably play Starfield. Guys, check out Parasite Eve on the PlayStation 1. Um, Tsunami is, is, I, I genuinely believe Tsunami is the 
the most important television block in the history of television. I think if Toonami didn't happen, I do not think anime would have the mainstream appeal that it has right now. This back on my shelf, and then we're going to play, I'm going to boot up Starfield, and we'll keep talking about this. More important than the OJ case. I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say yeah. Sorry, OJ. Uh, wait, maybe I shouldn't apologize to OJ. Sorry, um... The Court of Law. Okay. Let's boot up Starfield. Now that we've been uh, live for an hour and 20 minutes. This is this was a long intro. Let's play Starfield on the PC. Wow, you're telling me there's gameplay during this stream? Uh -huh. This is exactly how Dark Side Phil start. Don't, 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 don't put that on me. Oops. Don't put that mental anguish on me, please. <laughs> oh god, this is all fucked up. Sorry. Yeah, but the thing is, is Dark Side Phil doesn't talk about deep topics. Dark Side Phil talks about how you need to give him money. Dark Side Phil talks about how you need to support his stream. I talk about my, like, close personal relationship with nostalgia. Dark Side Phil talks about how his parents didn't buy him a Wolverine figure when he was a kid. <laughs> Don't put this evil on me. I am a different streamer than Dark Side Phil. <laughs> yeah, what's the most philosophical thing DSP has said? Go ahead. I've watched a lot of DSP. Uh, well, edits. What's the most philosophical thing he's ever said? Um, I'm going to continue to turn the game down. Game very loud. Shit. He does say that. That is true. My, my all-time... I think I've talked about this recently. My favorite all-time Dark Side Phil quote is when he was playing Dark Souls and he went to Blight Town and he fell down and he got poisoned and when you get poisoned in Dark Souls it says toxic he just goes why am I toxic <laughs> I think about that line all of the time <laughs> I think about that and I think about the people editing uh, shit that he said together to make a song and it was, I rock back and forth on the X and Y axis. Pay me so I can catch up on back taxes. Um, that's like seared into my mind. <laughs> Anyways, uh, welcome back to Starfield. <laughs> An hour and 20 minutes into the stream. Welcome back to Starfield. Um, I felt that I had to play this again as soon as possible because I have a lot of conflicting thoughts and complicated thoughts on the game and I, I just need to know where I stand on it I don't know if I'll feel that way after even finishing this stream but if you missed the first stream our name is Blart Wisconsin um, we're an elderly space trucker uh, and um, the game immediately uh the moment we touched a spooky alien rock, 
the game went, you got to go to this planet and talk to Constellation. They'll help you. I went, oh, okay, cool. Took off of my spaceship, and the game went, ah, uh, fuck all that. You got to go way over here and kill some guys. And it was like, oh, okay. And that's where my problems kind of began. I don't feel that this is a, a garbage game or anything, but I've, I've got some complicated thoughts that I'm trying. I'm going to try and work out as, as we play tonight. So we didn't get the game played quickly, really. Probably going to go to sleep in a few minutes. Hey, that's fine. Listen, you probably missed the most insightful discussion of the, or sorry, you probably caught the most insightful discussion of the stream. So, <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, yeah, Phil, Phil didn't use, uh, actual capture, just record his TV with his, his, uh, his camcorder. That's, that's how I used to watch, I used to watch DSP when I was a kid. I watched him play Ghostbusters that way. It was not very, even at the time, like, that was, like, 2010. Even at the time, I was like, well, everyone else is using, like, capture cards. And he wasn't. And then, very famously, when he got the capture card, and he still does this, he calls using a capture card direct game capture. No one on planet Earth refers to it as that. I don't know why he says that. Anyways, he also claims to have invented the term playthrough, so... Interesting man that he is. I feel like once a week we talk about Dark Side Phil on stream. <laughs> and I don't I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but listen, I, I I'll say this, I say it every time. I don't like that he gets trolled. I'm not big into trolling. Or or at least malicious trolling like that. I just find him to be a very interesting character. So I never, like, laugh when he gets fucked with. But I do find, like, the constant lying and begging very interesting. I find him a very interesting character. Um, Chad, how are we looking? Are we looking all right graphically? It's looking good on my end, but as we've learned, sometimes it don't look so good on your end. Looking smooth? Okay, thank you. Loved his area of justifying why recording with the camera was better. Yeah, dude. What a guy. I... What just happened? He's just, he's such an interesting dude to me. And, and I said this, I think, last Saturday when I... Oh, it's the oxygen. Oh, okay. Um, last Saturday when I played Zelda, we talked about Dark Side Phil. <clears throat> This year has been crazy for Phil lore. This year has been crazy for like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Where he did like an interview that was supposed to clear his name, but then he like kept, kept fucking himself over. And then like now a bunch of the people who would like basically keep his stream afloat with money like uh, publicly like have left his community and so now he's doing streams where he makes like zero dollars in tips and he's like he's like on the verge of melting down it's just like it's so weird he's such an interesting character i wish in the same way that like again i'm just never really into trolling people I'm never, like, into, like, let's mess with the lolcos type shit. That's never funny to me. I always find letting these people do it to themselves the most interesting content. I always find that the most interesting. And so this year has been really interesting for me. Watching him uh, just screw himself over. Chris, hey, thank you for coming. Thanks for being here and hanging out for a bit. Sleep tight. Get some rest. Don't... 
Uh, get 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 more than like three hours of sleep. But yeah, it's um. I wouldn't even like. <laughs> Thanks for no 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 no. I was trying to figure out what to call last night's stream on YouTube because I couldn't call it like "Run from the Cum Man." So I think the title of the stream, the VOD is like uh, the coming of man or something like that. <laughs> but like C-O-M-I-N-G. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sell some stuff. I picked up a lot of junk with the express interest of selling it. How old is DSP? He is 40 years old. Maybe 40. Yeah, I think he's 40. He's either 40 or like 41. I like these high quality models. But I wish it would like... Give you a little blurb about what they are. So that I know if they're actually like... Important. I don't think they're important. I'm just doing this to make money. Looks like he's got a foot in the grave. Hey, if you if you're looking at screenshots of his stream, he doesn't he doesn't look so hot. When he records something on his phone, for a bit there he was doing like YouTube shorts to promote his streams. Having a way higher fidelity camera on his phone, he does like I'm like genuinely kind of concerned for his health. He does not look good. He looks very ill. Beryllium. Sandwich. I thought I picked up like... Some decent shit to sell. I guess I can do that. Got two of these, so I can sell one of them. He had gout. That's true. That is true. I got two of these? That one. Frankenstein. Gold Pyramid Statue. I literally, I just finished watching a Ben Franklin documentary. Homeboy had gout. Ben Franklin had gout when he was like 84 years old. And dying. Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. There is a little blurb about what each item is. Sorry, I'm dumb. Anyways, yeah, he's, um, I find him very interesting. I'm not always up to date. What I do usually is I like just, I just check out for like a, like a month or two. And then I'm like, all right, let's get caught up on the Phil lore. What's, what is he up to? Because I find like staying up to date every day is just, it's kind of sad. It's kind of like pathetic. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry if you're on the day to day Phil it's just, it's not something I'm interested in. I'm just not interested in in always hearing about him every day. So I like, I check out for a while and then I check back in. And I'm like, all right, what is he, what, what's he doing? And it's, it's usually, hey, things have gotten worse. If you can believe it, things have gotten worse. Okay. Oops. 
Oh, no, no. I didn't mean to open console commands. How do I close console commands? Is that a quick David Lynch? Yes, it was. I keep saying it. There was a... Uh, what game did I play? Might have been Elden Ring. During Elden Ring, I became, like, obsessed with the David Lynch, um, like, weather videos. The weather updates. And the... It is Friday once again. If you can believe it, it is Friday once again. Uh, I, be I became very obsessed with those and kept playing them on stream. And um, that's why the, uh, the Elden Ring streams are... <laughs> They start really good, and then they get really, really bad, really fast. Alright, well, I'll, I'll fuck around with my ship in a bit. Uh, Vinny Vine Sauce keeps quoting, uh, he keeps doing David Lynch, it's like a meme on his channel now. He keeps doing David Lynch and going, crawl like a baby. I want you to get on the floor and crawl like a baby. And so, like, now that's burned into my mind. Got anything you need to offload? Trader, anything I can help you with? Uh, I would like to view and modify my sure. ship. How about it? I would like... <laughs> Slowly becoming Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Wowzers! Penny, I would like you to get on the floor and crawl like a baby. Well, Brain, if you can believe it. <laughs> uh, can I upgrade my ship? Upgrade ship. Skill or requirements. How do I make... I want to make the engine big. Engine. Big. How do I... Oh, I need more money. I just want a really fast ship. Alright. Well, we'll d worry about that when I've got money. I really want to play um, more Deus Ex games and just RP as Inspector Gadget. I had so much fun playing the first Deus Ex on stream. But I want to play like the, the second one because like the second one's garbage, right? I want to play that and just RP as Inspector Gadget. Go, go, Gadget, Stealth Drone. Okay, now that was too David Lynch. Go, go, Gadget, Stealth Drone. Okay, Penny, we're going to sneak in and shoot them in the head. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. What did you say? Bobby! They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just. <laughs> Helen Chambers, <laughs> ID SSCOM 1327 HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Baroon Zealots reached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate the proper evacuation protocols. Thank you for your service. We'll find your new position commensurate with your experience. Hey, can you shut the fuck up out here? I'm trying to listen to these people talk. Well, just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. 
So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Why does everyone talk like they're in like the like the CGI Donkey Kong cartoon? They they all move like they're from the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last week. I kind of smell it, but I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly mark June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, air purifiers here in New Atlantis. You mind? State of the art. Ugh, Aquila City? Now, don't even get me started on those simpletons. A little unfair, don't you think? Three Star Rangers helped me out quite a bit a couple years back. Got ambushed by spacers near Narion. They assisted. Chad, do you want some funny little action. guy lore? Even help with some repairs so I could do an. Back in the day home. when I was Fudge Films, uh, the first mascot on the stream before Flug existed was a uh, Bluster Kong from the Donkey Kong Country cartoon, and that's exactly what this guy looks like. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oops. God damn, fucking web p. How about you suck my web penis? Okay. Luster Kong. Do you see that scientist out in front of mast staring into trees? Sounds This like is the same character. It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> May I help you? Yeah, his name is Bluster Kong. <laughs> what a good name. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, hey, Ricardo Bosch. Guess you caught some of that, huh? The galaxy is at peace and somehow seems more dangerous than ever. Spacers, House Varun, Crimson Fleet, everyone trying to grab their peace. What happened to the early days, huh? When we just what happened? Float through the stars and dream. Uh. Some of us are still dreaming. Well, now, <laughs> you don't know how glad I am to hear you say that. I'm right here with you, my friend. How can you not look up to the cosmos and just be overwhelmed by its beauty? So much possibility, so much hope, even despite recent events. Who are you? Ricardo the Bosch. I was the oh. lead researcher on the station that got attacked. It was business as usual until those House Varun crazies swarmed in, spouting their scripture, whatever it was. Even the Marines were overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm just lucky to have made it out of there in one piece. We all are. Now, I just want to get back to work. Okay. Is that woman? Go back to work. Who are the spacers? <laughs> you must have been hiding under a moon rock your whole life if you've managed to dodge those assholes. <sighs> They're basically a bunch of space scumbags. Fly around, attack, and rob anyone they see. They're pretty disorganized and easy to fend off until they aren't. They're a different beast than the Crimson Fleet. Generally speaking, pirates want your stuff, so they can occasionally be reasoned with. Spacers, though, they tend to shoot first and ask questions never. I feel like I'm playing Fallout 3. Yep, that I have. Had Look, I'm playing Fallout 3, but with like a high fidelity graphics mod. Can you believe that? I guess you can sell anything these days. One of my emotes from when I used to stream is Mario Party 2 Donkey Kong. That's great. That's I love the Mario Party, the N64 Mario Party Donkey Kong model. I love all of the models for the characters. So long as you're not too attached to. In those N64. Stumble Mario parties, the but the Donkey Kong one is like extra Could cute to me. Get much itchier. How do I leave a oh exit? Another time, then. 
All right, chat. Well, welcome to New Atlantis. Oh, the pre-rendered one? Yeah, those are great too, though. Both are great. The in-game models and the little pre-renders. Oh, that's a gun. That's a gun. Put the gun away. Put the No, don't reload. Put the gun away. Put the gun away. Welcome to New Atlantis, chat. It's um kind of empty. Hello. Another day, another shift. Yep, tell me about it, bud. Yeah, this is, uh, I thought this was going to be more, like, packed. Uh, I want to go shopping. Is, is Mario Party 2 your favorite Mario Party? Or is it just, like, a, it's a funny render of Donkey Kong? It's just for the DK render? Okay. Uh, oh, can I take my... How do I... I just realized everyone's walking around without a spacesuit. Your suit is protecting you from environmental damage. What? I'm fine. Uh, I thought that I would like take the spacesuit off. When I hide spacesuit in settlements, T. Okay. So now when I do this, there we go. Okay. Why would they, why would they just not that do that by default? That's so weird. Okay, now we've got to determine the, the, the Blart Wisconsin drip. Kind of into the chunks cap. Kind of like that. And the flannel shirt. I feel like that's pretty good. For a space trucker, I feel like that's pretty good. Is this probably statistically better? Yeah, but I don't care. Wow. Watch your beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of I don't... Okay. Blart, Wisconsin. Here in New Atlantis. Not a fan of the big city. Blart, Wisconsin, looking good. <laughs> Anything I can do for you? Hello. Never a dull day in the big city. W what? What should I do here? There's a huge tree in the embassy district. A oh, tree. The Trust me, it may sound dumb, but I think everyone should see it at least once when they're in the city. It's so cool. Oh, maybe I just love trees. Why was that so slow? Oh, sure. There's always tons of travel into New Atlantis, so there's no shortage of people to meet. I love talking with the new people and hearing about their journeys. Why did they pa Why did she Not pause mention, like that? It's also nice and safe. Unlike my brother's job. Wh what does your brother do? He's a Marine. And if that wasn't bad enough, he's stationed in Sidonia. He keeps telling me it's safe and how he loves his job, but I just worry about him so much. All I ever hear about Sidonia <laughs> What's wrong with your face? Since there. 
I just pray that he'll be okay. It's the exact same animation. They look exactly the same. Oh, man. How? Oh, man. Oh, brother. Oops. Someone understands. I guess I can only hope that Chris will come to his senses one day. But anyways, I apologize. I didn't mean to dump all of that onto you. I just had to get that all off my chest, I guess. Keep a little stinky, huh? I have a good one. Normal human way to walk away from someone. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? We, lady, who? Oh, you're talking to me? Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? This is... This feels equal parts game from 2008 and AI generated game. Oh boy, I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice, you know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work I, for you? I you enjoy that though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's um it's concerning in a like critical game you know review sense that it uh kind of look like ass but it is funny and i would rather the game be funny than boring so i need drinks what can i get you uh wine no 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 blart wisconsin does not drink wine What, this is, what is this, like IPAs? No, 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 no. No. Yeah, uh, they ain't got no space beer. I, gu I guess I'll get Kodos Crater. I get, gotta get my space beer. Try these space IPAs. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. Uh-huh. Depends on what's in it. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with Holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was Side questing. hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was pounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Uh, sounds like the sort of thing that could drive one to drink. Very clever of you. 
Your parents must be so proud. They are. They're still alive. I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just I'm 62 years old and my parents are still alive. I need to get my hands on that cargo. Uh Sounds like you need a helping hand. It's going to keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United <laughs> Colonies. Uh, am I accidentally side questing into illegal activities? <laughs> Maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well... That might not be the worst thing in the world. Can I just talk you, to people? Uh, with me on this? Uh, I'll help. God, no <laughs> three minutes. Yeah, three minutes this. into the city, and I'm already being I'm given jobs to go kill people. To go in guns well, I mean, the game literally to opens with, "You got to go here. kill this pirate." To be a way to get what I need. Uh, you have any information? I know a few things, but not I, if I can do this quest without violence, at the space this game will majorly go up, Still in my opinion. This game, cards. my respect for this it game will majorly go up. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No offense. Uh, I'll figure something out. Oh, wait, what have you tried already? Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff. Uh-huh. I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as our new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? Uh, uh, I got, yeah, I got the joke that I, I got it. You didn't have to repeat the thing again. Yeah, it's Bethesda writing. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Uh... Did I heard any you know, news? I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. Anybody stuck living in the well? It almost certainly isn't by choice. The things down there aren't that bad. Okay. Bye bye. Catch you later. Hello. Gideon Acre. You wanna see something cool, Gideon Acre? Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him with it. 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 Hey, Gideon? Hey, Gideon Acre. You have a name, so I assume I can talk to you. He does not want to talk to me. <laughs> hey. Oh. If you're looking for a weapon specialist, I could really use the work to pay off some debts. Oh, is this how I hire people? Oh, I like that. I like that very much. What's your price? I'm not asking for that much. Just my fair share. 50,000 credits? Uh, I think I got five bucks. I'll come back for you, Gideon Acre. Damn. Guess I'll try someone else. I'll come back for you, Gideon Acre. Oh, are these all people I can hire? The whoa, the hunter. Not you. 
used to people coming up to me. The suit usually scares them off. Bro, you're hanging out in a Starbucks. Although I guess that's my fault, isn't it? Oh, he's an edge lord. Just looks like you're trying too hard, yeah. Ouch. Two minutes into this conversation and I'm already getting sized up. Oh, and he's snarky. Oh, fun. Well, outside heroic individuals like yourself, the suit can give people pause. That can be handy when I need it. I want to beat this guy to death with a hammer. Retired, actually. From too many lives to count. But I've been all those things, yeah? He's so... He's more. so edgy. I spend a lot of time in the fringes these days. God help you if you come across something someone wants. He's so edgy. You think it was things like civilizations and factions that caused people to want to shoot each other? No. Even without that... It's still winner take all. Uh. Plenty of people are helping each other. That's what makes the reality so tragic. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you Wait think that they. Do you think that he's I intentionally think written like this? Or do you think this is some like Bethesda uh, employee's like self insert? Do you think while someone was making him, they were like, holy shit, he's so fucking cool. That's it? You got nothing else for me? Yo, this guy sucks. Hi, hi Simon Bankowski. He picked a good day to drop by. Bartender's making him strong today. You in uh, town for business? Just here for the strong Cheers. drinks. Nothing like a cold one after a long trip through the space lanes, if you ask me. Oh, uh, this is Seems this like is a guy who's it. into brewing his own Personally, IPAs. I'm here looking for work. I just quit my job as a weapon tester for Mass. Uh. Oh yeah, plenty of us. There's a whole branch of Mass scientific wing called Drip, that's dedicated to developing new weapons for the UC military. This guy has his own D&D &D podcast that he does with his friends that hasn't had a new episode in six months, but he keeps posting on the Twitter account he made for it, um, and he keeps replying to, like, uh, girls on Twitter and saying, like, you're beautiful, lol, I've had a couple drinks. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm actually hoping for a crew gig. Lots of pilots stop by the viewport on their way into town. I figure if I hung around long enough, I'd run into someone who was hiring. I'm not. See ya. Do I need a shower or something? Yes. Yes? What? Why am I shaking? Why was everything shaking? Okay, what's your deal? Hey there. You look like the planet hopping type. Look have at any me. room on your ship for someone like me? Uh... Plenty. I'm comfortable on a ship, especially in the gunner seat. I'm also a trained expert with shotguns. I, I like this. I think this is a cool way to do, like, companions in this world. Uh, I guess that's goodbye then? Uh, safe like, levels. they all hang out and you can hire them for your ship? Okay, I hope that they have, like, meaningful, like, quests? I I kind of kind of doubt it, but it'd be cool if they had meaningful like side quests. Okay, um, how do I do this? How do I? Oh yeah, you, do I have any? I've got one skill point. I should spend that. Um, is there like a jump real high? Because that's my favorite thing. I want to be able to jump really high. Uh, if there is, I don't see it. 
Big social, though. Okay. Persuasion. Damaging theft. Um, combat, I don't care about. And spaceship. Okay. Let's put a point in persuasion. Okay. How do I how do I check quests? How do I look at my quests? No. Um missions. There we go. Main Action Misc. Yes. Let's track this. Because I'm interested to see if I can do this without having to get into a gunfight. If I can, then this game is dope. Okay. If I can, then this game is better than I than I think it is. If I can't, then this game is exactly as I think it is. The well's been having you around as all the time. Why does he run the like that? Yeah, is this New Vegas or Fallout 4? Lucas, you absolutely get what I'm going for. Is this a game that allows for flexibility with the quests? Or is this a game where they just want you to go through and hit all the points? Because I'm interested in playing the f former. I am not interested in playing the latter. Hey, this really isn't a good place for civilians to be hanging around. There is something I can help you with? Yeah, I can't really just let you in there. Okay. Um. Uh. Well, that's. Oh, it worked. Thank you. Uh, what's the harm if you help me? I mean. Might be okay. All right, look. Don't tell anyone I did this for you. I can lose my job over it. If anyone asks, I had nothing to do with this. I mean, the thing is, is like, even this way of doing it, though, of like, okay, do the persuasion check. Oh, you failed the persuasion check. Okay, now you got to shoot. That's still like that's just Fallout Four. You know, that's it's still not very good. It's still you can do this one way. You could do this the skill check or um you can do this the shoot and that's it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I was expecting that to be more in depth, like maybe I would talk to him and he'd be like, "Okay, you got to go uh, you know, talk to security." Go talk. You know, I thought like it was going to be a, I had to climb a ladder of bu bureaucracy, but no, it was just, did you do the persuasion mini game? You did. Did you do it? Good. You did. Here you go. Like, that's not good. You know, uh, I mean, it's it's Bethesda RPG, and I don't mean that in a good way. 
Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Hey there, new guy. Good to see you again. Can I get you something? Oh, no way. You really got it? I probably don't want to know what you did to get this, right? I just talked I mean, to I a guy. To know, but it's maybe better if I don't. I just talked to a guy. I certainly hope not. This is a huge deal to me, but it's not Maybe if I failed the persuasion check, you. that would have been cooler, but well, look, I can assure uh, this will all be worth it in Should have been cool. Matter of fact, no I matter what I did. <laughs> have the first ever sample. On top of that, you get free drinks. Not not like unlimited free drinks, but you want a little pick me up now and then? I got you covered. I need some time to work on what comes next. But this, this was the difficult part, I think. Really, thank you so much. Oh, okay. Stop by anytime you'd like to catch up. And I, do, I do I have the super this. drink? Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Plus 12% persuasion. Okay, okay. Sounds cool. Barrett enjoys this establishment. He frequently buys chocolate here. I'm glad Though you I understand where I'm coming from, like, though. It is likely a significant contributing factor to his being overweight. Hope you're finding everything you need. I'm glad Hi that you there. get. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of your dad. Got questions? Just ask. I'm glad you understand where I'm coming from with with this stuff where it's like is is it good? Uh apparel. Oh, drip jacket. I want pants. Is that? Oh, okay, but he's a, he's a, he's a space trucker, not a space farmer. I want pants. How do I... Do you guys sell pants? Space trucker hat. Oh. Space trucker cargo wear. No, I'm not buying that. <laughs> you got space trucker pants? No, you, you have to wear the same pair of pants. Notes. Do uh do you think books work in this like they do in like Fallout where you get stat boosts? Let's give it a shot. Is that truth is that New Vegas just had really good writers that Appreciate Obsidian doesn't have anymore. Um, I can tell. I played I played Outer Worlds. <laughs> They definitely don't have those writers anymore. <laughs> Oy. That didn't give me a stat boost, did it? Art is a bit of an art. That did nothing for me. Okay, so that's cool. So there is literally no point in buying books unless you like um, meaningless fluff, I guess. Cool. It is, I am, I'm not wrong, right? In Fallout, you could like read magazines and books and it would give you like permanent stat boosts, right? Oh, this is Space Starbucks. Buddy, it's coffee. Pick one, get out of the way, and let us get on with our lives. That George St. George. In Skyrim, you could. I think you could in Fallout. There's like magazines in Fallout New Vegas that you could pick up. Water. 
Wow. Why did ever everyone everyone told me that like my PC would catch on fire when I got to the city? It it's maybe it's this next area. Maybe this isn't the real city. Fallout has that. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, it does it doesn't look like this game does, unless I'm missing something. It doesn't doesn't look like this game does. Which so that just makes the books pointless, unless you're like a little lore freak. Steal from ATM. No, I'm good. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. Benny we had trouble. I've heard a lot of people have have been having trouble. Um, uh, Todd Howard was on. Uh, what was it? Was it like MSNBC or something like that? What was it? He he just did an interview where they were like, um. Todd, what do you think about, uh, or what was it? Uh, or do you plan on optimizing Starfield for PC? And he was like, uh, we did. Uh, it looks like you just need to upgrade yours. And people were like, kill Todd Howard. Hit him with a mallet. It's, it's running fine for me. I'm on ultra settings. And it's running fine for me. Or at least I think I'm still on ultra settings. Hold on. Maybe it changed up my settings. Nope, it's still ultra. Yeah, it looks 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 good to me. Can I help you? I'm just gonna stare. Today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Never speak to me again. Oh, out of ammo. Okay, reload. It's cool that Bethesda went, um, how do we make like an immersive experience here? What if the per first person who talks to you once you get off the train is the space equivalent of like a little chimney, 1800s chimney sweep boy? I think today's going to be a great day. Don't you, sir? Another day, another credit. Well, that depends. Are you a foodie or a shopper? Oh, don't call me either of those. What's wrong with your face? I am not saying I'm definitely a foodie. Who the? F oh, chat. This is getting. This is like. This is like getting worse and worse by the minute. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Like, this is the most, like, self-insulated fucking writing. Um, I, I don't want to answer this. Uh, I, I want illicit activities. the well that might be more your style i don't go down there myself it can be pretty dangerous oh is this gonna be bethesda's take on like see you around class gentrification i'm sure it'll be really subtle and intelligent and not <laughs> lame as fuck How many hours I gotta play and then this game gets... Isn't it like 12? 
Isn't it like 12 to 20 hours and then the game gets good? The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Chad, are we still looking good frame rate wise and everything? Please let me know if it does start dipping. It looks it looks good on my end, but my OBS stream preview is like it's running at like five frames a second. So I have no way of like actually knowing what you guys are seeing other than looking at my phone. But my phone it's like it's like 360p. It's literally set to... Alright, hold on. Let me set it to 1080-60. Yeah, it looks good on my phone. Okay. Well, let me know if you notice it dropping. Kind of in the middle of something here. Pardon me. How are you? Hi there. Dawn's Roost has the best food in the settled systems. Nothing good comes from the well. Okay, yeah, it's definitely it's gonna be Bethesda's take on um ghettos and um how the upper class pushes the lower class. I am maybe I'm expecting too much with even that. You know what? I, I'm expecting like Bethesda to have a uh, social commentary more than what if the government was bad and evil? Because that's um all of their Fallout writing is the government was bad and big guns are cool. It's like uh yeah all right. I moved back to Neon. I miss New Atlantis like crazy. Uh, okay. No, I'm from Neon. I moved here a couple months ago for a job at the Office of Interstellar Affairs. How do you like living here? I love it. I think New Atlantis is the most beautiful place in the settled systems. I can't believe how many trees there are in the city. Uh, she looks like a puppet. It's a part of Mast's administrative wing. We handle relations between the UC and the Free Star Collective. One of our main focuses is making sure the armistice stays intact. She looks like a like an war. animatronic on a Disney ride that's like breaking down. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Yes, concerned is an understatement. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. Gawk? If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Sure. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah. There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. Hi, boss. Sounds good, boss. Can do, boss. He moves like, um, 
Like a, like a, someone put Mario in the Unreal Engine. You know what I mean? Like he's got like that Unreal Engine default running and jumping animation. Now he's got a loaded gun. We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has been. Okay. Sounds good. I want to like this game, chat. I really do. I'm really trying. Remember when I remember when I complimented being able to hire people? That was that was the highlight. That was the highlight of the stream so far. I be a doctor I'm not feeling that bad we have an appointment you're seeing the doctor that's it I maybe some other time I have that report that's due oh my I mouse just locked up boss. she agreed that you need to take care of yourself I know it's tough honey but a lot of times the earlier they catch something the better it is you're right I know you're right I just wish they wouldn't keep us waiting so long yeah. I uh, I'd like to check myself in. You work here? What? My mouse keeps locking up. What the hell? Uh, my mouse keeps locking up. Is no but no one works here or? Hello? Does anyone work here? Oh. Can't be addressed here. If you walk in, you will almost assuredly walk out. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. I need help. All right. What can I do for you? I need oh, new penis. Good thing you came in to see me. Oh, you can't even. Some good I should just be playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> good as new. Uh, this is just kind of like a like a worse Cyberpunk. They Goodbye. In good Farewell, Doctor Vampire. Okay, that was fun. That was a cool, fun place to go to. <laughs> How long do we have to wait? Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help a guard. Contact him. When when is the Cyberpunk 2.0 thing coming out? When's the, the Cyberpunk uh, We Fixed It edition coming out? Because I did that one stream of Cyberpunk and I liked it way more than this. But then they announced the We Made It Better edition and it was like, oh, I should wait for that. The 26th? Okay, maybe I'd play that. When that comes out, maybe I play that. It's good for them to get that experience. I agree, one hundred percent. My favorite. In 
I just feel like cyberpunk had was just written like a hundred times better than this is. I thought this was a clothing store. Am I stupid? Love all the non-combat stuff. They're making the combat fun. Okay, I didn't know what was being changed in this, in the in the big update. So that's cool. The combat to me was just like, yeah, this is combat in one of these games. What what are like the major changes with the combat? To make it fun. I thought this was Quentin Tarantino. Oh, I ain't reading this shit. Skill tree is reworked so it's less stat boost and more actual abilities. That's very dope. That's exactly the kind of shit I'm into. You have a nice day now. So, what's the point? Of what? Bowl. Is it some sort of art? A Zen garden? What? Bowl. It's a communal art installation. It's supposed to. Look nice. I guess. But I'm just saying you could have a whole bat ball field or some food stands. Don't you? Space used to be a lot harder on my body. Now it's mostly time. I think Earth is probably pretty bad for your body too. Oh sorry, New Atlantis. I have a pen pal in Sidonia. We've been writing to each other. The old old-fashioned way oh it just so happens I need a letter delivered to my pen pal in Sidonia pay is in advance One why would I ever why would any character ever come up to this lady and go hey I can help you with tasks like <laughs> why would you write it like that what is a stranger except a friend you haven't met? Besides, there's something about you that I like. And I've always trusted my gut. All right. Bless you, child. I believe you'll find Hattie at the community center in Sidonia. Just hand her the letter. She'll know who it's from. Okay. Sounds good. Makes sense to me. It's been a while since we had the chance to catch up. I'm hanging in there. Citizen. Right now I've citizen, got a citizen. Few I have to put out at work, citizen, citizen, okay. citizen, if citizen. Life was simple, it'd be boring, right? There's the thing. Hey, I think we should meet up anytime. So Cyberpunk changing its its shit to be more like yeah. ability based instead of stat based is absolutely the kind of thing I'm interested in. Um, I am not interested in like leveling up number go up um, I, For me the the best games the best immersion sims or whatever you want to call them is like deus ex and oblivion in how they handle um, Leveling up Where you uh, you just get to make yourself like more and more fucked up and weird So, uh, you know, you contribute to your abilities. Now, I really like the way Oblivion did it. Of, like, the more you did a thing, the more you leveled it up. I wish more games were like that. But, I guess this is sort of like that. We're like, oh, you ran for a long time. Now your lung capacity, you've completed the lung capacity challenge. Like, eh. But I really like that. I really, I wish there was a game. I mean, Oblivion. The answer is Oblivion. 
where you uh fuck yourself up, you do crazy, you do eggs. shit. Are you looking for eggs too? That I've only found uh, so far, but I allows you to level up, and when you level up, so you it continues to upgrade your ability. It doesn't just make you punch harder. You know, I, I don't know. Okay, well, if I see any of those, I'll tell you. And you can tell me if you find any eggs. Miss Seng over at UC. Why does this kid have forehead wrinkles? She said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Wait, 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 come back. Kid? Hello. When I grow up, nice to meet you. Okay. You can just climb trees. Oops. Could have compromised your health. See, I've never played Morrowind. I don't know. I don't know how well Morrowind has aged. Like I'm, I, I'm worried that it, Morrowind would be too jank. To UC distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Who, Jordan? That kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Uh, you just give it to I me? I could. But I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back. I could just here. shoot you. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. Just take Pleasure the money. doing business with you. Okay, what else do you have for sale? Yes, of course. Please take a look. Weapons. Oh, big, big weapon. Oh, very good spacesuit. I don't have the money. Do I? No. What? What just? What is, oh, I did have the money. I didn't mean to, okay. Oh, this, this UI is confusing. I guess I could buy like a cool, well, helmet. I don't have the money for the helmet. That's that's awkward. Back to it then. Okay. Oh, I just read this lady's mail. This is my last letter to you. I'm counting the weeks. Uh-oh. She's going to die. Oh, he looks stupid now. Can I change the color on this shit? Hold on. Uh, okay. Inspect. No, I don't, I don't think I can. 
Uh, it's lame. All right, let's go get uh, egg money. Sort of plays like a CRPG, but presents itself like an ARPG. I don't, I don't know what those mean. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that means, my friend. I know CRPG. I think. I think I know what what a CRPG is. I don't know what an ARPG is. Jesus, how many quests is this game going to give me? Actually, you know what? I'm okay with that. Action RPG? Okay. Okay, like this. Oh my god, chat. Oh no, dude. I was like, okay, like, what are we, what, I gotta be, have been live for like two and a half hours, right? It's gotta be like, it's gotta be like 9.30 right now. It's 8.30. I really do need that addition. If it isn't my favorite, I'll make the lab assistant. So I don't know if Starfield is making it to another stream. <laughs> I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. Done. And just another moment. Oh. It is working, isn't it? Ah, there it is. What a relief. Now let's see. This is. Oh, gee. well, Christ. it's. Oh my. I can't talk to him. Talk. Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Well, from a certain point of view. And, and... It You're just gonna quit when you just mount Kelton Frush? I know. Dude, the Kelton Frush heads, they're gonna be so pissed at me. The, internal composition of the, the whole, the wiki... I'm, I'm gonna miss out on all the deep Kelton Frush lore. Low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now. But they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow consequences for the city could be well, disastrous I must consult with my colleagues in mast at once thank you for your assistance I hope these credits are adequate compensation it be boy oh 2000 is pretty good actually Wow a skill points available guys can you freaking believe it there's a skill point available holy cow Yeah, let's put it in targeting control system. Wow. The data from the biosensors speaks for itself. Okay, maybe maybe the game gets good when we do the story missions. Maybe if we do the main story, it'll be good. And exciting. And not the most drab and boring shit. You know what you know what part of the game I liked? I liked flying the ship. 
I like to scan. Oh, can I? Oh, I should be scanning on this planet, shouldn't I? Scan this guy. How do I scan again? Oh, that's not the scan button. Ah, fuck. How long ago was this autosave? Well, I was level two. Oh no. Oh no. How long ago was this? Oh, okay. Not, not that long. Not that long ago. Okay. Did I just unselect the quest? Oh my god. What's the quest button? Why? Why? Why do this? Why make me go through? I gotta wait for menu to play and then menu to play. Just let me open one menu and then cycle through with WASD. Why do I? Oh, this game kind of stinks ass. This game kind of smelly ass. Just the usual worries. I'm gonna have to sit through this guy doing the funny, uh, it's taking a minute to load bit again. <laughs> I appreciate your assistance, but I still need all of those sensors. I, I know. I need all of the biosensors. If I know. So you do. I'll just take them. Or we'll just upload the data. Don't you dare shoot him. Hey, uh, while he does this, I'll be right back. It is working, isn't it? Uh, there it is. Relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. Okay, is it done? Where'd he go? It seems my concerns were valid all along. Okay, see, I um, I value my time. So while he did, well, you talk to me. So while he did that, um, I went and grabbed news, two cheese sticks. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. Gonna bet I'm gonna get more enjoyment out of so eating this cheese stick than uh lost. playing this game. Well, from a certain point of view, the bad news, in this particular, this is some, I must consult. Now you see, this gives me a rare opportunity to respec. I'm not going to. Okay. That's the gun button again. Put the gun away. Thank you for your help retrieving the biosensors. How do I scan? What was the scan button? It's like, it's not listed. I, I don't know. Why would they not list the scan button in the scan mode? Let's hope that Mast takes these findings seriously. 
Maybe it was E? Oh, it's E. It's E. Okay. Got it. Cool. Totally epic. Hello. I always wondered what the inside of the lodge looks like. I was there. Oh, okay. It's like map stuff. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's do the story quest. Main. I will say I went into this game with low expectations. It is meeting those expectations. Um, which I guess is better than being under those expectations. But it does. Um, I will say I lean very much more into the reviewers. We're giving this like a six. Instead of the reviewers who are giving this a ten. And I have heard that the reviewers who are giving it a six, it's because they haven't put enough hours into it yet. Which is an interesting take. I will say, if it takes 20 hours for your game to get good, it, it ain't good. Here we are. The lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged... If I can boot up Fallout New Vegas and that game's immediately good... They will be waiting for us inside. That's my take. But maybe this, maybe this is gonna be cool. Captain, everyone will be in the library. I like a, a like 1920s adventurers lodge, but in space is pretty cool. You'll make this place your home. Okay, now chant. That man who just talked was his name Walter Stroud. That is Quark from Deep Space Nine. We'll nice. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's Armin Shimmerman. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell He us was the whole reason I was like, all right, I am gonna play this game. I wanna hear him. And he isn't. I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this yep. is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that yep. discount mining outfit. That's Armin Shimmerman. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw some shit. We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point... Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Work. if you expect us to believe in fairy tales, If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel. I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. Work. 
We know the artifacts I cork. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. <sighs> now, if we add this new one to the two we already have. Oh, there is permanent stat boosters. If you could place it on the table here. Oh, they want me to do something? Kirby, what's up, brother? Have we met Garfield yet? That would make this game a lot better. That's it. Just like the others. Yet to imagine. We thought there were only two of them at first. If Garfield got to show up and he oh went, God. um... They're reacting. Space pirates. I hate space pirates. That would have been no cool. Manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. You'll have a hunt attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? It isn't exciting now. <laughs> what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> So, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? I don't even understand what's happening. We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment. Just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Alright. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, ants? why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your- And I just, I just spent like four cre- 4,000 credits. Did she just get cut off? I didn't hit anything. Welcome to Starfield. What can I help you with? I don't know. This is when you can just fuck off and do what you want. That's nice. We'll we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. Because right now I'm pretty, um, whelmed, I would say. Right now I feel very much like this is somehow worse than Fallout 4. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is a isn't free, I'm afraid. This artifact that was intense. Again, I like the idea of Sorry, this must all I like the idea of now. Space Adventurers Lodge. Now that I think about it. I'm Noel. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you. I think that's a really interesting way to take something that's old and forgotten, make it futuristic. So I'm hoping that this gives me some interesting character. We'll find out. Oh gosh, no! I mean that's that's flattering, but really we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had because you get a dog in Fallout Four. Well, also Fallout Four. Well, it's been a while since I played Fallout Four. So much we don't know, and that I don't remember Fallout Four like immediately wasting your time though. I don't remember Fallout 4 immediately going like here's here's a ton of shit that's boring. I I don't know. 
Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Kirby, you haven't Speaking you haven't up, been here for the stream. I uh, this game is uh, legitimately. I like looked at the clock. And I'm like, oh, it's got to be like 9:30. I've got to be like three and a half hours in. Um, it was 8:30. Uh, it it's it's been one of those games where I'm just like, nothing's going on here. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Starts with the pacing of Mass Effect. I guess it does, doesn't it? Like, combat right at the start, and then you're running around the Citadel. God, it is kind of just Mass Effect, isn't it? Anything I can learn from is a help. Here you go. Oh, she's going to pay me for this? Never mind. But, like, Mass Effect is still a game that came out in, what, 2007? Everything all right? 2008? It's still a game from 15 years ago. We haven't. We haven't figured out a way to do it better than that, you know? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. He did. At the time, well, it's Barrett. We weren't sure if he was kidding around. Clearly, he wasn't. Why don't I get to hang out with Barrett then? Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? I don't know you. <laughs> well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Oh. Okay, I like her. She's cool. No no yes. Noel's cool. Tell me the That was the tour? Hey, have you been up to the eye recently? I haven't needed to go up there in a bit. Why? Oh, I just don't know how he does it. Up there all alone for so long. Some Ooh. people love that kind of space. Pun intended. This is all exciting, but there's really a lot Ooh. of pressure on us, isn't there? We have to get this right. Uh, am I am I not following her now Ever or since I got here? This has felt like home. Stay safe, okay? Am am I stupid? Is this just a case of me being stupid? Didn't the thing said <laughs> Am I, am I stupid? Is this a stupid moment? Didn't the thing say follow Noel? 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 I swear to God it said that in the top left. And she got interrupted by the NPC. Okay. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind if you answered And uh, I can't. Now I can't ask her. All right. See you later. No, no tour from her, I guess. Let's talk to Armin Shimmerman. 
Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. Let me sit. I can't sit on the sofa? I feel like I I've been waiting my whole life for this. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I'm glad to hear it. Uh. You could have done just about anything. You don't even know me. Yes, you're right. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans. This is a good character for Armin Shimmerman. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. I like him. He is my friend. You know what? I don't think I think Blart Wisconsin doesn't take any he doesn't take any lip. Now now I've apologized. It's on you to accept and forgive. Oh shut the hell up. Argue again. That's what relationships are. Breakage and repair. By the oh, way, this this guy sucks. To to stay, the <laughs> I kind of like him. Modification and research equipment, spacesuit customization. All right, now I'm, now the game's good again. Now I'm in. Testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet. That is, I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Okay, chat. Uh, now, this is actually a stupid moment. I thought that said craft or modify an alien. I got really excited, dude. I thought we were going to do, like, alien dissection. We get to make our own little alien. Wouldn't that be cool? You get to, like, you get to piece together your own little alien. And he, like, runs around. He's a, he's a uh, you know, like a, a follower. What do they call them in Bethesda games? A, like, a companion. He like runs around you and goes like, Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I want that game. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day to day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric suits for years i was captivated by the writings of constellations founder sebastian banks i finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance and so now i call the lodge home as much as anywhere else this i'm i'm into this these are like interesting characters maybe a little you know, cliche, but interesting characters. Uh, and like, I'm I'm into this lore. Where where was this half an hour ago uh, waiting for me? But I was busy running around picking eggs. You know, me? <laughs> Why I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Yeah, my dad used to have uh, hallucinations. My, you know, my dad used to um, uh, see bright lights and um, hear loud music. I don't know what the punchline to that joke was going to be. I was going to go with, like, he was, like, a rock star, but that's not. This game's draining me. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
I want to rip the skin off my face. This game's draining me. I do have other. Not exactly. No. But I suppose. I, uh, in one second I like it, and then the next second I'm I'm dead inside. That's an unlikely coincidence. <sighs> I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and Young Noel there. Okay, her I name think is Noel. We all okay. agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. The most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. You should give me Stra a Stroud Eklund ship. Success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels they covered them the bastards i've tried to convince the united colonies we can help in that regard but they're married to demo star yards and those old salts are stuck in the glory days okay goodbye bye hello are you doing okay I'm not sure anyone really well, asked yet. Don't want you to, want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You sure it's been a while? He's so too. like um You've done something really smooth. significant bringing that artifact here. You know what I mean? His I'm skin is so smooth. A scholar by trade, but now well, I an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. I want to like rub my hand on his face. His skincare routine it's probably pretty dope. I, I pro skincare routines in the future are probably pretty dope, right? Keep my time to our business. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. Okay then. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history, collecting dust? So we don't know that there's. Intelligent life on other planets? Like, there's definitely alien monster men. Beast yours. But I, I guess... I guess they haven't discovered, like, another society? I'm not gonna lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. Uh. Not necessarily, no, but it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. Maybe I'm just going crazy. You're not, okay? Barrett saw something too, and believe me, if he was willing to admit to it, it was a big deal. Just remember that you're not going through this alone. We're right here with you. Wow. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there you was think there's a race of Garfields? I hope so. Interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really Chat, what's the emo? Uh, don't I have an emo that's like sexy, thick Garfield so or something? I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. <laughs> isn't isn't there like a <laughs> like a <laughs> yeah Frank or Face Z emo or something? Invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. Hold on, we're gonna find out right now. Channel. Here it is. Garfield Sexy Thick. Yeah. Christmas Carol. <gasps> Whoa! Ha ha. I don't have much time for that kind of thing anymore. So much to do around here, you know? I know you too well to believe that. You've got to have a line on something. All right. 
there's a chance that a 15th century edition of Aquinas' Summa Theologica is out there. I've been asking a few questions in my spare time. Maybe Doc. this one will turn out better than the last time. Doc. Huh? Lately, I find Doc. myself spending more and more time here. Doc. This has appealed to me. Doc? Doc. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here. Oh, come on. They put it. You can't put anything in the fire. This is. I've occasionally had my doubts about constellation. As Shut as up. Been. But now, well, it's clearly money well spent. Everyone was talking about like, oh my god, the physics in this game are so impressive. I can't even knock over a fucking ship with a dock. What are you talking about? Can't even do cool dock RP. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible Hello and be aware there. of so. Are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Oh, where is my room? Did you see the potatoes? I did see the potatoes, and I was not impressed. Because I can I can do that in real life. Right. Well then, keep up the good work. Yes, Walter Stroud. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? Space? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? Oh, see, I was confused. I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. <laughs> Just Why is she is she's we'll so short? It's what we do. She's got to be what like like 5 4. Oh, okay. Sorry, no fun allowed. Sorry. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. <laughs> that means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying... <laughs> I don't know what she said. I was not paying attention. Um, okay. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why the constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Kirby, are you of the mindset that this game gets good after, like, 20 hours? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Jumping to anthropology on me already. Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. 
We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, do I get paid for this? You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent free? We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. What's wrong yeah, with my suit? Explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. All right. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Uh... Or... Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? No, I've kind of done enough of that. What did that? There was text up top that just said something. I don't know. All right, well we're gonna we're gonna go now. I, I don't know how to get. How do I, oh, I probably go this way. I am at your service, Captain. Thanks, Vasco. I just. Oh, basement. Oh. Okay. Weapon mods. Got it. This is what I want. Spacesuit workbench. How do I how do I change the color? Can I do that here? Mod skin. You not you can't Oh, don't chat don't tell me that there isn't you can't just color wheel the fucking thing you can't color wheel the sp the spacesuit Adaptive frame. Chisel. Mission board. Oh, my God. That's cool. I like that. That makes sense from like an in-universe perspective. I am not gonna accept all those missions right now. Cooking state. Can I cook anything cool? I can make an. I can make alien sandwich. Please, give me the alien sandwich. Two alien sandwich, please. Thanks. You? Pharmaceutical lab. Okay. I guess I can make one. I can make nine of these? Like four. Like, there is... The thing is, is like... There is a part of my brain... That, that does like like Bethesda game there is a part of my brain that used to love Fallout 3 that still loves Fallout New Vegas and so when I get into stuff like this it's like ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but like it's bogged down I feel like in so much um so much stink ass and so much like unfun jank 
and like listening to just like it, like it just never gets to cuts to the chase um and i always just feel like i'm playing a game that was released in 2008 and not in a good way but again i i want to like this game and if now's the point where the game gets good then you know we'll we'll keep going This, this family guy? Wh where am I? Who's, whose room is this? It's gotta be Noel's, right? Doing some snacks. Don't worry about it. Hey, who's... How do I... I, like, hack into the PC? Who lives here? We need to talk to John Tuala in Mast. Okay. Time to go? I don't know whose room that is, but okay. Uh, okay, they just can. I, I just needing to confirm. They do not have bidets in the future. They have toilet paper. That's how you know Bethesda didn't think about the world building. What is the future like? Everyone is gonna have fucking bidets. Don't sit. Don't sit here and go, oh, they, uh, toilet paper. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now to be fair, you do have to still use toilet paper when you use a bidet. But I don't see any bidet situation here. I don't see any knobs or nozzles to, to hit, to squirt your ass. Stealing all the toilet paper in this place. <laughs> future toilet it's got a turret built in but how does it know how hard you want the pressure how does it know it guesstimates bad future bad future terrible terrible future Uh, can I just, uh, you mind if I just, uh, good if I just, lock is too difficult. Fuck you. I guess I should have, I should have skilled into, um, lock picking. Yeah, but, but Blart Wisconsin is a nice guy. He's just a space trucker. He never wanted any of this. He just wanted to space truck. And gamble. And now he's stuck being a, a fucking explorer. He doesn't want this. Oh. Well, that was cool physics. Look at through the crack. What? Huh? The space bidet? What do you mean the crack? Hook it through the crack. Oh, oh, you dirty dog. Oh, you dirty dog.
That is fucking devious. That is illegal, dude. Oops, that's my gun. Okay, but can I make the thing like a cool color? Can I paint this thing? You cannot, you can't paint this shit. Why would they do that? It's cool that you can upgrade it, but like, you really, I mean, I get it, right? It, this is a Bethesda game, but like, if we're going to crimp so much from No Man's Sky, I can't just like paint the thing like I can paint my ship. Why? Why would they, why would you do it like that? Oh, I didn't... Okay. See your parents at Pioneer Tower. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just, like, eager to explore the universe. There's nothing quite like the feeling of returning home. Yeah, I've got my own place to stay. I don't even need to be in Constellation. Okay, this is like a this is like a dope little kitchen. Dartboard. Well, it's a Star Trek Deep Space Nine reference. Yeah, that's the question. Will my parents be younger than me? Or will they be like super ancient? Has got any alcohol around here? Oh, yes, you do. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I had to get it from the other side. Oh. Yup. 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 Oh, I didn't mean to take the glass. Don't need that. Just need the bottle. This one. Uh, so like people live here? I mean, we, we saw f one in the basement. Where's everyone's uh, rooms? Damn, you live like this? A boardroom. Okay, whose room is this? Exotic bottle. Tablet. Moby Dick. Bed. Yo. Storage. Empty. Chronomark watch case. Like in the special edition! Wowee! Okay, I assume because there's just a, a storage thing and nothing else of interest that this is probably supposed to be my room. I don't have anything I need to store right now. I'll just leave. Next room is yours. This one is... Okay. And I was right. Yep. Now this... Whose room is this? I don't know, but they keep it locked. Okay. 
I wish there was little uh, names, little plate name plates next to the rooms, like in Ham Taro's Ham Hams Unite. You know whose room it is? Uh, whose room is this? Couldn't tell ya. This game should be more like Ham Taro Ham Hams Unite is basically my takeaway for today. This is probably Barrett's. Bed. Or like have Sarah say something like, this is this person's room. And this one is this person's room. That would be helpful. I mean, ultimately, does it matter? No. Not at all. But you know, it's the little... It's the little things. Okay, this is Armin Shimmerman's room. There. There. Oops. Thanks for taking that. Can we just... Let's just loot his room. He doesn't need the shit. He can buy more. I wasn't wasn't looting your rooms. <laughs> oh, we don't get audio on this one. Uh, steal your money. Fuck you. Fuck you. Steal your money. Oh, wait, I guess Blart Wisconsin is supposed to be a nice guy. Whatever. He can be a little, uh, uh, he can be a little rude. You know, he can, you know, he's funny lying around. You know, he take, like, he never asked for this job. And he needs, he needs money for the space gambling. So, God, I hope there's a way to go space gambling. All right, let's go see my my parents. I kind of forgot my own lore for Blart, Wisconsin. I actually did forget that his parents were still alive and lived on New Atlantis. When that bartender lady was like, is this your first time on New Atlantis? I went, yup. Um, that's on me. Whoa. Whoa. Where do my parents live? Is there a fire escape or we just... The building's on fire. We just die? I think we just die. Okay. Don't say that too loud. Twitch will eat you. Yeah. Uh, we were... Bowl. Bowl. I want to go see my parents. I want to go see my mommy and my daddy. This. This. Do. Um. Where would this be? 
Misc? Mission? Activity? Oh. Dear parents. But there was another thing, though, about my religion, right? Didn't I make him religious? Isn't there a, a loot and stuff I could get here on New Atlantis for being religious? I don't remember. Oh, why did that change? Uh, it just changed my whole fucking thing. Really? No, it still speaks to my... What the hell? Hello, everybody. I love being in your city. What are you doing? Hello. Oh, hey, what's up? Okay. Yeah, you said it, Tony Cowell. My girlfriend for drinks at the viewport tonight. Whoa, really? Uh, fine, I guess. Do we know each other? Uh, I'll just make it small talk. Oh, all right. <laughs> I thought you were trying to flirt with me. Uh, <laughs> oh. It's going fine. It's hard to complain about anything when you have a terror brew in your hand. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. What? At Terra Brew? I wish. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I live at Athena Tower. Just moved in, actually. My girlfriend and I got a place there a few weeks ago. I'm not sure how long we'll be there, though. We're saving up to get out of New Atlantis and uh, tour the settled systems. Why does this guy sound like he, like, non-stop vapes? Will you yeah, tell sure. me more about your girlfriend? Thanks, Donna. <laughs> she works at the Nat Station near Mast. Oh. Boy, is she a catch. She's passionate, beautiful, friendly. I really lucked out. We met a couple of years ago, and uh, we've been going steady since then. I'm actually thinking about asking her to marry me pretty soon. Uh, wow. Keep that between us, okay? I don't want her finding out before I pop the question. Can do, Tony. Well, tell you what, Tony. You have a good day, bud, all right? Sure hope your day's going as well as mine is. God bless, Tony. Have a good one, bud. Hi. Nice to meet you. Brest? Check. New Shall Atlantis I? has the yeah. best single scene in the settled system. Check and double check. We have to find where Tony lives. We have to find where Tony lives. Which apartment is Tony's apartment? What is the point of this room? What did I just take an... Oh. Okay, go back down. We have to find where Tony lives. Computer. Where? Where? There's no computer. It's date night. I don't... Never mind. No fun allowed. Never mind. Evening, sir. An arsenal. Can I just go in here? Centurion Arsenal. I can just I can just go into the arsenal. 
Oh. Oh, right. It's a Bethesda game. I thought that said Kobe. This is Wally. Hello. Just by walking through that door, you've shown you make good decisions. I like that about you. Okay, time to make Welcome some bad to decisions. Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Is that a surprise? These are potentially matters of life and death we're talking about here. Well, that's not a simple question, is it? It all depends on who's asking. Me. I have my own personal favorites, but I wouldn't presume to know yours. Tell me, were you to find yourself in the unfortunate position of needing to use a weapon, what suits you best? Something up close and personal? Rapid fire? Is precision a consideration? Uh, I, up close and personal. Then might I suggest taking a closer look at some of our bladed options? Quiet, discreet, and very effective. I was talking like a shotgun. Okay. I'm sure we can find something that suits you. Ooh. Now that is a space trucker gun. That's pretty cool. Rifle, 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 pistol, pistol, rifle. No, give me the space shotgun. Give me the Red Dead Redemption ass space shotgun. This, I would say this might be the coolest gun design wise. In any game I've ever played. And I I don't give a shit about guns. Uh, IRL or in games. Um, that's why when I walked in here I went, oh, it's a Bethesda game. Because uh, you walk in and immediately uh, it is guns on every single wall. Look at the guns. Aren't they so cool? But this is legitimately cool looking. I like the design of this a lot. So let's buy it. And um, how do I know? Oh, probably the shotgun shells. Let me get let me get a couple of those. Okay. And let me equip this and do this with it. Very, uh, it makes me think of Doom. I like that. Like, it looks like the Doom shotgun. Because it looks like a shotgun. That's very cool. Right, my parents. Okay. Gonna have a third person. Yeah. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm we got a goddamn redneck rampage NPC. <laughs> All right, I want to go show my parents my new shotgun. What are we doing? So after an hour of whining, they're finally out here. They're just sitting on the grass. They should be played. Do you want to go another three rounds with them? <sighs> They're slides. 
Like right there. At least they're outside. At least they're not, they're not teenagers fighting. yet. They're so doomed. I can fix that. I can fix that. Hey kids. Oh, cops coming. My parents are wiped. I wish they just take a nap or something. There's no one to play with. What, are, what about I this kid? I told my parents that there aren't any kids out here playing. I told them. Well, it is. It's like midnight right now. So, yeah. I'll go, I'll play. Yeah, right, that did suck. Oh, how missed. Responsible you're acting right now. Why? What did I do? I missed. Uh oh. I missed. No harm, no foul. Uh, I can't even fit in the slide. Whee! Okay. Well, now that I've got that youthful spirit, now let's go to chunks. Uh, I want one Minecraft, please. Welcome to chunks. Please choose your chunks. Just, just say the word. Just say the word. I can help you. Thanks for choosing chunks. Which chunks would you like today? I don't know. Smaller chunks? Great. What can I get for you? I don't like his attitude. Uh, beef, cake, cheesesteak. What is, what is Blart Wisconsin's favorite food? Hmm. Other than beer. I don't think I can get uh, chunked beer. I can get chunked wine, though. Uh, Blart, Wisconsin really likes eggs. Just, just hard-boiled eggs. I'm, I don't need to buy any of this. I've got enough. Let's go see our parents. See, I want to go in here. I want to check out the drip. I can't. Why are there's no doors to any of the clothing stores? Why would they do that? Hello. No. All right, moment of truth, chat. It's been it's been 20 years since I've last seen my parents. Are they are they even going to still recognize me? Hold on. I got to for confidence. Um Yeah, just like drink seven bottles of wine. Okay. That's good. I gotta go see my parents now. Hey, mom. Hey, dad. Mommy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit, he's invincible. What? Well, I'll be. 
Honey, we got ourselves a visitor. I'll get the coffee brewing. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> you about gave me a heart attack. Not that we're not thrilled to see you, okay. son, but I, I thought you were under contract with Argos Extractors. Is everything all right? He, the dad looks younger than Blart. The mom looks about the same age as Blart. Come again? Constellation? Is this one of those candid camera vids? A joke? Who the My fuck would say that? Who the fuck in the future is bringing up candid question. camera? Didn't I always say that? That you were meant for great things? Great things. She looks like Mitch McConnell. You talk about old stuff? Yeah, but I don't talk about stuff from 300 years ago. <laughs> I I don't go I I don't uh go live and go, "Oh, what is this? One of them um uh uh uh, uh one of them uh, uh spindles?" Oh, uh, what this is like that time that uh, uh what's it what was it? Betty Ross made the American flag. <laughs> Are we still talking? Are we? <laughs> you know you would if there was videos of it. I don't know about that. Because I got no interest in that that part. Uh, like, I don't, I don't have interest in, like, history before the 1900s. Stop, Bob. You're making me blush. Well, I know what I've read about in the news. The explorers. Years ago, there was a stretch where Constellation was in fashion. People would gossip about them all the time. I, I must say, it's been a while since I've heard anything about them, though. Glad to know they're still around. Oh, in life, you need to celebrate the victories you get. Because you don't know when the next one's coming. Oh, but you didn't give me any notice. If I'd known, I'd have your favorite meal in the oven. Egg. And your room is just a mess. Uh, although that's how you left it. Yeah, Easy. 35 years ago. <laughs> Brett, why don't you settle in? You know you're always welcome. So they must have taken the, like, baby-making, uh, like, engine... From Fallout 4 and reverse engineered it. You know, like this is just the backwards baby making. Magical, like a storybook. Hey, what do you think of my parents? Me from here out. Okay, she has no input on my parents. What happened to Vasco? Vasco's just gone. Oh, dude, I could late. I could loot my everything in my parents' place. Oh, I don't mean to take that. Dude, my parents kind of suck. Can I, I? There's no way they'd let me wear the slippers. That would be fun. What the fuck is this? And can Everyone I watch TV? My poker night is going to hear about you. Oh, that's where I shot him earlier. Anything? Anything good to watch tonight? Well, there's Silence of the Sands. I mean, I want to watch it sometime, but I want something light, upbeat. Well, I made a suggestion. Why don't you make one? I, uh, was thinking maybe muzzling me? <laughs> the, the kid movie? What? That little Ashta cracks me up. And it's just cute. It's funny. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me. 
It's like listening to your parents talk about like, watching The Mandalorian because Baby Yoda is funny. What does that say? Am I drinking from this mug? Then walk away. Oh my god, that is funny. That is funny right there. That is funny. Are your parents rich? I guess they have to be, right? This is my room? What's with this? What is this above my bed? What is this I see? Is this my bed or my parents' bed? Oh my god, that's my parents' bed. Where's the tissue paper? You don't know where that is? I knew where it was. This is my room. But it's not there anymore. No, uh, high school backpack. Interesting. Is it really necessary? Oh, I'm over encumbered. Patched up your old high school backpack. What from what like twenty lot four? Wait. <laughs> Around all that gear. Oh, what do you mean skin cream bottle? What is this doing here? Oh. Okay, that that's legitimately kind of cute. Um, those sports bottles, a lot of baseball. Wait, baseball. I thought it was called bat ball. What do you mean baseball? Oh, what? <laughs> Oops. Oh, 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 Jesus. They are not used to anyone saying no. Can I have some money? Do you regret it? I still can't get over you being here. And it's not even Mother's Day. I haven't been back from Mother's Day for 30 years. Is there anyone special in your life? With you being in Constellation now, I imagine you are quite the catch. Uh, nothing to report yet. Just so you know, your dad cannot wait to be a grandpa. So don't keep him... <laughs> He's shaky with him. excitement. I know, I know. I won't get into more right now. Well, now I see that it's true. Mothers have an irresistible urge to interfere in their children's love life. I know you didn't live in this apartment long, but I want you to consider this your home away from home. Your bed is always yours, no questions asked. I mean, well, I will ask questions, but you can stay here no matter the answers. I can do without the third degree. It's complicated. I want the Maybe deep parents lore. It. But neither of us mind moving. I think we both have a bit of nomad in us. I think, though, New Atlantis is our forever home. Wow. No bother at all. Stay as long as you like. Anything you want to talk about, dear? I have money. Well, one of your old classmates made junior VP at Gal Bank. Their father was bragging for hours. Can't wait to tell him about Constellation. I was, how was, wait, what was that? One of your old classmates made. How are any of my classmates still alive? Whatever. Their father was bragging. Oh, ain't that the truth? With both of our pensions, we still couldn't afford it. But with what you send home, well, we get by. Game just crashed. I swear to God, the game just crashed. No, oh, no, it's fine. I don't know what just happened. And of all the places, it like just tabbed itself out. It's just so full of culture and life. 
That was weird. Now that we're both retired, you mean? I, I keep trying to push your father to do things. Dance lessons, vacation, take some courses. I'm really interested in early colonial art. But he's well, colonial just fart. happy as a clam reading in his chair for hours. Wants to know the history of every little thing. It's nice to have time to do both, though. All right. You're welcome anytime. And I mean anytime. I still can't believe it. Constellation. The stories make them seem so exotic, so, well, romantic, almost. What's wrong with his eyebrows? <laughs> you liking it? Uh, oh, don't do that with your eyebrows. It, hey, it beats mining. Well, give it time. It's a huge transition. And Constellation's one of the only groups I know still diving into the real mysteries of the universe. Pretty exciting, if you ask me. I've got some news of my own. You are now officially looking at a retiree. Taught my final class last Thursday. The faculty threw me a party and everything. It's too bad you weren't here then. You could have had some cake. You're like 175 years old. Why were they still letting you teach? Teaching? I'll miss some of it. Occasionally, I got a student that I could really connect with and make a difference. Those are the ones that kept me going. It didn't matter if they tested well, if it lit a passion in them. That's the stuff. But most of the time, no, I won't miss it at all. Wow. Let's just be ma mean to our dad. I had bigger dreams at one point. <laughs> But when push came to shove, I didn't want to compromise my values. And there's real nobility in teaching. Well, at least that's what I told myself. Enough about that. Anything you want to talk about before you have to go? I mean, stay. Stay as long as you like, but I imagine you're all excited to get to discovering. Um. Oh, dude, we could just dump our parents. Oh my god. <laughs> Planning a proper honest to goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. I've been promising your mom a trip for years and I got no excuses now. Your mother has been sending me links all day about such and such deals and excursions, but it'll be good to get out. You know, it's supposed to be us taking care of you, right? Yeah, and I'm like I'm like 67 years like old. Say we'll pay you back the money you sent home. Well, I appreciate it. We appreciate it. More than you know. Retirement's treating me well, but there are some days I almost missed the classroom. Don't say anything to your mom about this, but she got some work done at Enhance. She keeps looking younger every day, I tell her. Oh, she? I mind. Uh, should I dump my parents? Hold on. <laughs> what? Pl who? Hold on. Save. I told you my left. Feet if you take screenshots left. in this game, the is do I have to use the like, the, like in-game camera photo mode? Get some exercise. All right. And how is Dancing that is. Out? Oh, Why? Everyone is talking all at once. Like fit for a toddler. I figured it would be years. I've told you before, you don't have to. Oh, don't I be mean, nice don't about it. Lord knows we appreciate it. But we got by just fine before you landed that job with Argos Extractor. Now, I won't lie, this apartment, new Atlantis, I mean, there's no way we could afford to stay here without you. But we can find some place cheaper, no doubt. We'll don't be, no, I wanted, I wanted this to be funny. Not for a long while, no. A move like we're talking takes time. As soon as we get settled, we'd love to have you over, but it could take a long, long time. Ah, fuck it. Never mind. If you're sure. She just loved... 
Okay. I thought that was going to be funny. I thought there was going to be, like, drama. Or something interesting. No. No fun allowed. Well. I don't really know what the point of them are. Uh, point of them is? Jesus. I don't really know what the point of them is. Are it... The point of them is... The point of them are... What the fuck? The point of them is... What is this? Where did this come from? Why is there a vase in the middle of the... The point of them is, I don't know. Thank you. I don't know what the point of them is. Are? Fuck me. I'm going with is. And I don't feel like that's grammatically correct. I don't know what the point of them is. Are? God damn it. I don't know what the point of them are. Uh, other than to have a place to go sleep? I hope that it, like, develops and they do cool stuff, but I kind of doubt that. It would be cool if they, like, restocked on resources. Like, if you could come back every once in a while and, like, get food. There is more to it? Okay. Um, I need to go to the place to sell shit. How do I get back to my ship? Spaceport. Not, she's not riding. She's not going to ride the train. They didn't animate her riding the train. This game kind of stink ass, huh? Well, what can you do? Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. That's a energy sword from Halo. Security scanners, chemical sniffers. Hmm. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Invoice haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony. The laws, the laws, sir. Whoop. Need some work done? Okay. Alright, let's sell some shit. Uh, I don't need this because I've got the cool armor. I don't need this. Ah, oh, it has no weight. Okay. Uh, I don't need this jumpsuit. I don't need this book. Uh. Don't need this hat. Don't need this bowl. I have so much alcohol. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll keep the chunks cap because I'm a chunks head. Uh, we got all the space beer, coffee. Constellation guide. Oh, I have to read this. Okay. Now the constellation pack. Is this one? Oh, this is the basic one they just gave me. I could probably sell this, right? This isn't the, the dope one that I got. Eat mining space shoot. It's not the new one. Okay, then I'm going to sell it. Deep mining space shoot. Milk. Exotic bottle. Oh, 
Art Plus. A high school backpack. I'm going to keep this just because of the extra capacity. Thing. I might need that. Lettuce. Uh, don't need this. I'm keeping this because it's funny. Uh, pirate shit. I don't need anymore. I'm keeping plushy Galacticat. I'm going to put that on the ship. Beer. Laser pistol. Uh, putting that on the ship. Okay. Um, I should look at my weapons. We got a pistol. Rifle. I could probably sell the regular Grendel. And... Probably sell this Malstorm. And probably sell this. No, sell the bashing rattler. No, but I should keep the bashing rattler. Okay, so. It, oh, wait, I was in the thing. I should just sell it. Duh. Sell this. Sell this. I'm keeping this for. A bashing weapon. Do I need to do that? Do I really need that? I've got a knife I could just stab people with. Hmm. It, it'll... It's fine. Jesus! Okay, what was this clip? Oh, really me, yeah, okay. Post that in the Discord. Post that in Clip Chimps. Or, uh, please. Okay. All right, chat. Let's, let's keep going. Activities. I could speak with Kelton Frush again. Um, let's speak with Kelton Frush again, because I had so much fun the first time. Oh, also, can't I, I probably got some skill points. Yeah. Um, weight lifting. Yeah, do this. Give me more oxygen, please, so I can sprint for longer, please. Have a good day now. Someplace else. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay. Okay. No bounty. There will be another Starfield stream. I know I said uh, this would be the last one because, oh boy, was I not into this game like two hours ago. But I'm still, I wouldn't say I'm into this game, but I still feel like uh, I haven't gotten into the game yet. I still feel like I have not gotten to the meat of potatoes yet. Take a nice picture of Blart so that he might show up in your loading screens. Okay. Donna was this girl? Oh my god. You couldn't find a more annoying couple if you tried. 
Donna was the goddamn the chimney sweep girl. Hello, mister. I hope your day is going good. One day, I'm gonna leave New Atlantis for good. Oh, hi there. I'm doing great. How about you? Uh, please let me tell her. I've been struggling to find meaning in my life. Hmm. We've all been there, I think. Maybe you just need to find a goal to strive towards. I've been trying to save up enough money so that I can go explore the settled systems with my boyfriend, Tony. I think we're finally getting close. Oh, no offense, but you look a little bit tired. This is... Chant, can I advise you on something here? Never, ever say this to another human being. Ever. Uh, this is, I feel like women hear this constantly. You're, uh, you look tired. Yeah, you, you're looking a little tired. You should smile more because you look tired. Never in your fucking life should you say this to another human being. Really? Well, I guess you're right. I'm feeling a bit run down. I really love my job, but it's hard work and long hours. I could definitely use a Terracino from Terra Brew right now. I'll go get her a cough. This yeah. is a side quest? So sweet. I really appreciate it. If you're shy, it's okay. We can just stare awkwardly at each other. Tony and I want to see what else is out there. I love my job, but there has to be more to life than just being a janitor in New Atlantis. What about What's you? wrong with being Are a janitor? Uh. Whoa. I have no idea what that means, but that sounds really important. I'll keep my eyes peeled for any artifacts, okay? Don't be a stranger. I gotta go get her a coffee. It's a done deal. I want I want to tell her that Tony's gonna propose. I want to ruin that proposal. I think that would be the funniest shit. Which means this game is not gonna let me do it. If it's funny, it means the game will not let me do it. Okay, where do I get a coffee? Ah, fuck. Where do I get a coffee? Uh, Jesus Christ. Where do I get a coffee? Hello? Am I stupid? There's just no What are you? Why do you... Oh, it's the lighting. Dude, I thought I thought this was like a lizard man. Okay. Can you imagine? Uh, so there's just no there's just no coffee place? Then I'll just go back to the spaceport cuz I know there is there's one at the spaceport. Please let me ruin the proposal. For the love of God game, please for one second let me get up to some asshole mischief fun. Please, for the love of God, let me be an asshole. And not in the, you're, oh, you're rude. You're like sassy and rude kind of way. Let me be a genuine dick. And my mother wouldn't be a uh, what did she want? Ah, oh, fuck. What was her order? Cappuccino. Pardon? 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 What are you doing? Yeah. I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of space. Shut up. Sorry. I just don't I just don't need uh 
talking. I've got an important job here. I'm busy. Afi. Much soon, I'll be coursing with bountiful energy. I'll be the most enthusiastic janitor in New Atlantis. I don't want that. Here, take this. I found it while I was cleaning. I figured you might find a use for it. Thanks again. I really appreciate it. And I, I seriously can't. I can't. Not too bad. Found a box of pens the other day. You'd be amazed at what people leave lying around. I can't say anything to her. Okay. Then why? Wh then what's the point? It, it, oh, brother! What's the point? If 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 they're just there to be set dressing, what's the fucking point? Let us interact with them. Let us let us do something with them. This game is like a four out of ten. Oh, I can't I can't have my gun out. I can't have my gun out. Okay. Uh how do toggle menu. E. No? How do I uh how do I navigate the menu? How do I navigate the arrow keys? I feel like that's not a fair complaint because it's like that in most games. Uh, well, um, see, it's not like that in good games. Uh, Disco Elysium would absolutely let me fuck with these people. Disco Elysium would absolutely let me fuck with these people if I had that information that he was going to propose. It absolutely would let me go, hello, your boyfriend's going to propose. Most games, not all games. Right, but, uh... Uh, if this is supposed to be, uh, you know... This huge, innovative RPG experience... Um... I don't know, I feel like, uh... I feel like they could probably do what the indie game did <laughs> alright you know what they actually made that better <laughs> yeah. I'm not playing this game because I like to shoot uh, oh, I'm playing this game because I want, like, an interesting RPG experience. And uh, straight up, like, I feel like this game is a tremendous failure at that right now. This game has not been, in uh, like, 
in an interesting RPG experience. <laughs> you got that thousand planet stare. Oh, good frame. Get in there. Get in there. It, listen, I, I... I... I just feel like... Uh, what I want out of this game, this game is doing a really shitty job at. And it's a shame because I also feel like it's what people praise Bethesda games for. People, I feel like, and maybe I'm off on this one. I feel like people are always talking about Bethesda games being so in-depth and, and being great RPGs. And I, I don't know, man. This game does not allow me to approach shit in any, any, like in any interesting way. Like, this game does not let me do things the way that I want to do them. We were talking about it earlier. Lucas was here and we were talking about it. Like, this game, you got to play this game the way the game wants you to play it. And it's, it's not good. You either, well, I mean, we did it on the stream tonight. Like, we did it and we talked about it. We're like, hey, got a side quest to go sneak into a thing and uh, got a side quest to get a thing. Uh, I could, I went and talked to the person and my options were um, stealth in or persuasion. So it was either play a mini game that fucking sucks or stealth in and that's it. Like, there's no, um, there's no discoverability. There's no, um, it's not a playground. And that's so, like, that's so shit in a, like, post-Disco Elysium, post-Cyberpunk, post-Baldur's Gate 3, which, you know, I'm not going to hold it to that because that also came out this year. But, you know, like, What the fuck is the point of designing quests or, or designing NPCs like this when they're not uh, poise for the, for the player to fuck around with? Like, what's the point of giving me this information, like just focusing on this NPC here what's the point of giving me this information if I can't fucking do anything with it? it doesn't make my experience in the game better to know that they're engaged or gonna be engaged you know like it it's like what's the what's the point it's not something for me the player to enjoy to do anything with so then why put it in the game? It doesn't, um... Uh... It doesn't do anything. It's just like, uh... If anything, it, it makes me, like, less interested in the world. I'm, like, more disconnected because it's... I can't... I can't even acknowledge that, hey, I met your boyfriend, you know, like it's, it's kind of stupid. It's kind of like, uh, it's just kind of stupid. Like I can't, again, it, this is a 2008 ass game. 
This is a this is a Fallout 3 ass game. I genuinely feel like Skyrim does what I'm talking about better. To an extent, but like Skyrim felt more like a world. This is just like NPC talk to you. Bye bye. It's like, uh, okay. Like if you're not letting me use what the NPCs are telling me, if you're not letting me, I'd like it, it, just, it feels like they really want you to take this game seriously. This is a, this is a big game that you should take seriously. Unlike, unlike something like cyberpunk where the game kind of wants you to fuck up and fuck around. This is like, no, you can't, uh, you can't like mess with people's lives. You can't, um, you can't deviate from the script. I mean, I even, uh, when I met that Donna for the first time, I just, just started fucking shooting her cause she annoyed me. I don't know if you know, she didn't even die. She just, she got on the ground and panted and then got back up. Like then what's the fucking point of putting her in the game? If, if they aren't, uh, toys in the playground then why uh, why put them there uh, in a game like this it's a sandbox it's a it's a playground right like it's we're supposed to hop around from planet to planet and go wowie yippee look at this wow wow it should be a bunch of mini little playgrounds and um this is a playground, but like the playground that we saw earlier where none of the kids wanted to play on it. That's what this feels like, where it's just like, ah, uh, that was, that was fun. What a fun way to do that. Um, uh, I'm not saying it doesn't open up. I'm saying that it doesn't allow me to play. I'm saying it doesn't allow me to goof around and and have fun. Like it's it's um I don't know, it's a 2008 ass game. It's a this is it's a Fallout 3 ass game. Um it's the kind of shit that people criticize Fallout 3 for and Fallout 4 for of like no no fun allowed. Um it's the kind of stuff that all out New Vegas embraced and made interesting of like fuck around and find out what happens. Come at this, come at this playground, come at this sandbox from any angle you want, fuck around, find out. And that's why that game endures. Uh whereas like you know main Bethesda stuff maybe doesn't super well. Uh, not speaking about the Elder Scrolls. I as far as I understand, the Elder Scrolls games are great, you know, but it's why you get six hour long video essays about Fallout 3 being a really bad RPG. Because it doesn't allow you to fuck around and find out. Um, and this game is not allowing me to fuck around and find out with, with stuff that I feel like is the simple, like the... the I just feel like that Donna and Tony thing is like the most like, oh man, you could have, uh, you could have just like made something really cool with like one line of dialogue. Like all you had to do was put in one interaction I could have and it would make everything feel connected instead of a bunch of 2008 NPCs walking around. Um, and then uh, uh, didn't, didn't do that. Small things. Devils in the details. Uh, devils in the NPC interactions is is how I feel about a game like this. And uh, those NPC interactions have not been great so far. So oh, there we go. Oh yeah, I forgot that the game is great. <laughs> 
I actually kind of prefer it <laughs> when I crank the saturation all, all the way up. I forgot that this game's kind of gray as fuck, too. Oh. That's rough. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk to, what was it, Kelton? Uh, well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? Bernston? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Yes, well, I had good reason to be distressed. You had already helped me establish that there is something unprecedented going on with this tree. Now my superiors have been made aware. There is growing concern. Oh my, a bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. Uh, okay, tear the tree down. You are not the first to suggest it. However, until I have all the data and a clear picture of what's going on, I am not willing to conceive it. <laughs> push it, slash me, push there you into a locker. The sound of you hitting the metal is 200 decibels? I wish. there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring. If it pulped me instantly, that'd be great. Per per personnel issues. Crunch, what's up, brother? Crunch, when's the first day uh, of work at your new job? Is it is it Wednesday like you were talking about or Not necessarily. 25th. But okay. If you're offering your services, you've certainly proven to be reliable help in the past. Well, that's dope. So One you get to what? That's like masked, 2 weeks, right? Emilio Hadek. Has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more. Why is this guy's voice familiar? What do you say? Uh. He's held a grudge against me for years. It's petty, really. I'm sure he thinks that doing this now will hold back my career. Hold on. He wouldn't listen. Oh, I mean to skip that. Is this Tuvok? Doesn't it kind of sound like him? Uh, Voyager, Star Trek Voyager. Uh, what's the name of the guy who played Tuvok? Tim Russ? Uh, he plays a couple characters. Oh, wait, he plays the dad? He played my dad? Uh, okay, it only lists him as playing dad, Guillermo de Garmo, and Maurice Leon. Uh, it sounds like Tim Russ, though. Weird. Now I got to go back and talk to my dad. So they got two Star Trek ass actors in this. Uh. Oh, thank you. At last I knew he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, um, it's best if you don't mention my name in the process. Okay. Hold on. I need to go back to my parents. Uh, how do I get back? I gotta go to, like, the residential district. Okay. My last day at retail is Sunday. and straight up in fixing to go somewhere. 
Straight, wait, straight up. I, I'm fixing to go somewhere. Go to. I don't know why. I was going to say Outback Steakhouse. I don't know why. Spend the next two weeks at Outback Steakhouse. Make like one of those cool YouTube videos. Okay, uh, where are my parents? My parents are this way, right? It looks like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Pioneer Tower, yep. Tupac's dead again. No, no. Tuvok. Tuvok. Bok, not Pock. The money you sent home? Well, it means a lot to both the of house us. Feels alive that's Tim Russ? Hey, hey, that's Tim Russ? Just so you know, your mother's missed you. Like a lot. Oh, I guess it is. Planning a proper, honest-to-goodness vacation. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, I guess it is. I've been mom a trip for years, and I got no excuses now. Your mother has been sending me links all day about... I guess just seeing it come out of, um... But the crustiest looking white guy does something in my brain where it's like, well, that can't be Tim Ross. Stay as long as you like. Okay, so that's two Star Trek actors in the game. How many more are going to be in the game? And Bethesda is known for Star Trek actors being in their games, so. That's what put them on the map. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, what are we doing? We're like shaking down a guy, I guess. We're doing whatever the game wants us to do. I think William Shatner's in it. That's a good question. I feel like if he was in it, he would have like a big role that was part of the marketing. I feel like if they got Shatner, it would be like a like a like a a big thing. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just boomer pilled. You think he does Rocket Man? You know, hopefully. Hopefully that's the end credits. Is is him singing Rocket Man. They should have featured Mike Staklasa. Yeah. <laughs> See, that'd be dope, and that would that would also go with the Star Trek thing. That would be great. He should have played Vasco. He should have been like Hey, you should go to, you should go kill this pirate. Mind your step. Important research happening here. If you don't kill the pirates, they're going to keep chasing you down. Do it, fucker. Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Oh, this guy's a dweeb. I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? This guy's a tech bro. Try, but it's not happening. No, no way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's actively. no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher ups. I'm not helping him with that. Lives could be at stake. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, What's that really face? Go, Once again, I'm I'm just gonna say it. If you guys didn't catch it earlier, um, if you didn't catch the stream earlier, I was bringing up uh shit from the Donkey Kong Country CGI show, and it like same level of animations. <laughs> And I'm not even really exaggerating, dude. Like, I wasn't... It started as a joke, and then it became like, Oh, no. Oh, it, re it really is. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, don't worry. You're just going to erase some files for me. Make sure I look good next time promotions get passed around. Um. Uh, can I, can I do anything else, game? Do I, do I have to? Do I, ha I have to do this? Can I say no? Well, then I guess we don't have anything else to discuss, and Kelton can just forget about getting his hands on the data. See you around. My contact is in no. Recruiting. No, you have to do the shady Did thing. You? Really? Wait, really? Wow. Okay. Okay. I'll follow your lead, but I wish handling our tree issue didn't involve using illegal methods to get the job done. What the fuck else was I supposed to do? Evaluations in the last couple of years, totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a back door into the mass network so I could make some changes to my personnel file, but it turns out the chief oh. engineer knows what she's doing. I don't. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of locked. Oh, okay. Now, but she, Sarah Morgan's still pissed at me. Why was this option not before Sarah Morgan gets pissed at me? <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. And now I get to play the fun mini game. From where I'm standing, kind of seems like it is. Advancing my career is the right thing to do. So that's what I'm focused on. There is. And I already explained exactly what it is. Uh it gave me the uh it gave me the Saren Morgan disliked that thing. I don't want to cause problems. Oh, it worked. Okay, look. Look, just hear me out, all right? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I do like I'll money. some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Uh... I do like the money. All right, we got to think about Blart Wisconsin's character. What is he willing to do for that money? No. I already got what I came for. Fine, fine. You win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stop it. Okay. A little, a little stinky, but I guess it worked out in the end. It's just like... Again, you got hey, two ways to approach that quest. Either you um, talk him out of the doing the quest, or you go do something that might not fit with your character. Like, that's that's like, what, the second or third time I've encountered that? I tried like, to it's just... It's uh, it's uh, it's it's uh, Bioware ass choices, really you know. Crucial. Are you gonna say thank you? Or are you gonna say fuck you? And that's it. Like, I don't know. That he is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later. Particularly in the legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double cross me. But you have once again come through for me. Hey, I'm me. truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. That is partly reassuring. It is, in fact, the exact opposite. Still, though, thank you. For your assistance. Whoa. Is this game good or bad? Ah, oh, man. It really depends on what you want from a game like this. 
If you want, like, role-playing... No, it's bad. It's it's pretty... It's, it's bad. Uh, at least so far, it's been pretty bad. Um... The way that quests are designed is very, like... A or B? Choose. I'd buy. And A is just persuading your way out of actually doing the quest. Um... Again, don't tell me how you got this Hmm... If you want something else out of this game, then maybe you'll like it, but... Uh, yes, it is. I keep saying it's it's Fallout 3. It's 2008 quest design. Um, uh, if you want something else out of this game, maybe it'll scratch an itch for you. I haven't gotten to do, like, a ton of space shit, which is where I was having fun. But I was having fun because it was just No Man's Sky. Um... And so I'm, I'm still going to play this game. I'm going to do another stream of this game. I want to get to that. I want to get to, like, when the game opens up and gets good. But, um... What I wanted out of this game, it is definitely not given. Uh... And, and again, I've never... A Bethesda developed game. Again, I can't speak for Elder Scrolls, but the Fallout's... Bethesda's fallouts, uh, suck. Dick. Ass. Uh, they aren't very good. New Vegas is what I want, you know? And, uh, I was hoping that, like, maybe this one would be different. Maybe they would learn after, like, New Vegas. Uh, maybe they would, maybe they would take, like, the criticism of Fallout 4 and, and do something interesting with this, and they... They didn't. They just didn't. So, if you're looking for RPG with choices this year, check out Baldur's Gate 3. Or whatever the cyberpunk thing is. That's That might be better. But this is, um... This, this ain't the RPG I wanted. So, I'm really happy I didn't pay money. I'm really happy I didn't pay money for it. Remember, he's still in Tutorial City. Uh, sure. But also keep in mind, I am, uh, what? Like, six, seven hours into the game? Like, yeah, I'm in the Tutorial City, but I do feel like I've seen more than enough to, to start forming an opinion. Listen, I don't I don't need to eat a whole piece of shit to know that um you know when it touched my tongue I didn't enjoy it. What is going on? Octosera's contact. Where am I? He's on the roof? Oh, he's up above, duh. Actually, got my ACs mixed up. I've been seeing, I've been doing that a lot. When people are posting AC, I think they're either talking about Ace Combat or Assassin's Creed. And so I, I saw someone today be like, yeah, AC6 is. Gotta be one of the best games the whole damn year. And I was like, did a fucking Assassin's Creed game come out this year? Uh, I don't know if I would say that's gonna be one of the best games of the year. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Okay, thanks. Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? I don't no. I'd rather I'd rather deliver cargo. Whoa, where have I heard that line before? Where? No, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. 
<laughs> I'd surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? Why do their foreheads... All right. Here's what I've got. This is a nitpick. Vanguard volunteer by the name of... Everyone's Boera. forehead Helps scrunches. The like they're, Mars, like, Neptune. 45 years old. The soul system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? Anytime the they Marsh raise their eyebrows, raised. they, like, Not age like 15 years. <laughs> Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Like... Uh... uh. Uh, like I'll um we've got three dialogue options that all establish the same thing and then two options for lore and I feel like this is I I, it, I keep seeing this with the NPCs it's like uh, cares about is Mars and no one wants to go to Mars it's, uh, it's Mass Effect 3 ending Mars. choose uh what flavor you want to say the same thing Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Uh, they are in a spaceport. Sounds like home. Oh, wait, yeah, sorry, I gotta choose the lore cool. options first. Get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. You'll have to ask him, but Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. He's a, this guy's nice. I mean, he's a military recruiter, so. <laughs> uh, okay. Military recruiter with no Xbox. Man. That was the coolest the military ever was to me. Is when they brought Halo 3 to play at the county fair. That was fucking dope. I was ready to sign. If I wasn't like 11 years old, I would have signed up right then and there. Free Halo 3. Why is it? Uh, oh, it's raining. God, I just want to shoot them. I don't know what that says about me as a person. Seems like the crimson fleet is everywhere these days. Okay, well I've got a ton of side quests and shit to still do on this planet. Um, there is one I want to do though before I leave. There is one thing. Um, is it this? No. Um. No. Don't think about the well. Yes. I want to do this because I want to know what the what. Hey! Hey, you! You have a minute? I need to talk to you. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you I flew mean... in on the uh, frontier. Yeah. I knew it. Tommy Bitlow. SSNN research intern. Word is the frontier was involved in an attack. It's true, right? You saw some real action. Oh, this is great, great. Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you—an actual eyewitness. 
uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. All right, I'll take it. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. Cool, like, normal thing to say to yourself. Okay, um, I, I want to investigate this well thing. Because I want to know, um, what they're doing. I have... Unless I was misunderstanding what people were saying... This is like the shady poor district. And um, I want to know, uh, I, I got to be honest, I don't think Bethesda are, are probably the the, the, be the best people to uh, handle uh, class There's discussion. Oh, I've already been here. Thanks for shopping at Jemison Mercantile. And so I want to investigate for a minute and see how they go about handling that kind of thing. Or maybe I just misunderstood what the well was. Maybe the well is literally a well, but... No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Oh, what's wrong with your eyes, lady? All this stuff. You ask me? The real new Atlantis is down here. All that stuff tops her. Absolutely. So you could just leave the planet without ever seeing any of this. Which is interesting. I don't need any apparel, though. Oh, dude, that's a dope hunting jacket. God, this dude goes deer hunting. Holy shit. Okay. Hey, take it easy. Open. Canuck, Edmonton. Canuck, brand pierogies and gravy. They got fucking pierogies in the future? You think I'm going to leave here without stealing some pierogies? No, no, no. If they got space pierogies, I'm taking space pierogies. Yeah, so this is just like a poor place, right? Like this is They're just trying to do like are all the poor people get sent underground. Okay. Whatever. I help out Henry from time to time. Not very often these days. But that's fine. Okay. Okay. I don't have the patience for were you? you can't say I'll have what you need, but you're welcome to look. That's so. I think folks down here are too poor to afford electronics. Not the first time I heard that line. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too often. You find yourself with any more commentary, feel free to keep it to yourself. Sorry, I didn't mean to be classist. Well, then maybe we should just stick to business, huh? Eh, MFers are buying a single 24-ounce Miller High Life and asking their shit to be done. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. I get people coming to my job buying a bottle of water, asking for it to be double bagged. And I was like, uh, uh, what, are you sure? Yeah, I'm going to need that double bagged. All right. If you, if, if that's what you want... Okay, so this is all like crafting components. And cakes and maple syrup. They have poutine down here? They got can, uh, like Stop Canadian 
pierogies and and oops and oops okay i thought she was running to arrest me What's with the staring? You need something? who are you Signed up mess with, with me and i'll serve you my girl. famous knuckle I'm sandwich not gonna end up like <laughs> scared, life for some aren't well you? rats no <laughs> way not me <laughs> oh this is the best character in the whole game this is the best guy in the whole game are you kidding take a look around you're in the most boring place in the galaxy only good thing down here is case why why was he told to sound like a cartoon mouse tell you, i know my food but i can't even go there anymore because k banned me for bad behavior me can you believe that what a load of crap <laughs> why do you want to know you with security Oh, yeah? Maybe I'll hide my boot in your ass if you don't quit asking questions. That is, unless... Who is this guy? Yeah, Hold on. In which case, I wasn't threatening you. That was just a joke. <laughs> no crime's been committed. I'm actually a very nice person. Why is this voice so, like, in my head? Rick Starfield. Rick. Oh, of course that doesn't come up with anything. Rick? Uh, Starfield well? No, that gives me nothing. Uh, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. Never mind. His voice is really familiar. Yeah, well, newsflash, buddy. I don't like anything about you either. Sounds like fact, the bully from I Danny Phantom. You with such conviction that I'm inclined to fight you right now. Uh, Dash Baxter. Who was who did who played Dash Baxter? S. Scott Bullock. Uh, it's not him. It's not him. It sounds like him, though. I want to know who voices this guy. What do you say we go ten rounds? Right here, right now. You aren't worth the effort. Ha! Oh, I... A word of advice. Down here, you need to be big, strong, and cunning to survive. Well, now I'm gonna it's... kick your ass. Well, now I'm gonna kick your ass. Yeah, well, no... In fact, I just... What do you say we... Yeah, I, uh... Well, luckily for you, I actually hurt my hand when I was punching some other asshole's lights out. Uh-huh. Uh, Doc says it'll take a few weeks or months. This is the best guy in the whole... Can I hire him for my ship? But once my hand heals, you're done for. This is the definition of a funny little guy. Can I please hire him for my ship? I love him. Give me more NPCs like this guy. Maybe I'll like the well. I was actually, I was dreading coming down here because I thought it was going to be Bethesda, like, shitting out some, like, overly heavy-handed shit about, like, classism being bad, which, like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. But, uh, I don't know. I like that guy. That's my favorite guy so far. If I just jump in. Oh, Jesus, don't do that. Hello. What? There are always about a million things to do. And I'm only one person. It's so overwhelming. Hey! Oh, you're not Carl. Do I look Sorry. like Carl? I shouldn't assume. Maybe you go by Carl. You're just not the Carl I was waiting for. We're supposed to be investigating a power drain down here. People have been reporting brownouts for a while. And Mass finally decided to follow up on it. 
I can't be in two places at once, and Carl isn't here, so I'm just trying to look inconspicuous. Uh, who's Carl? Co-worker of mine on this assignment with me. Clearly not taking it seriously. Not really surprising. Most folks are fine with ignoring what goes on down here. <sighs> you see what I mean, chat, though? Like, accept quest, decline quest, lore, lore. Like there, it's not, um... Isolate a power drain. The video game she ass video game. The it's not... Large amount of power being I don't rerouted know. Through various subsystems. But it's kind of a two-person job. Someone needs to find the junction boxes associated with those subsystems and power them down. The other person needs to monitor the system remotely. It's pretty simple, really, and relatively safe. Only a small chance of electrocution. I hate all hell. Well, since you're here, I want to get electrocuted. Listen, and I really want to get this solved. I will take you up on that. What I need is very technical. I can talk you through it remotely. I'm going to head to the monitoring station. The first box we're looking for is over near UC Surplus. You know, Antonio's place. I can contact you once you get there. Okay. And the junction box is... And the junction box is... And the junction box is... I don't think this is what I was looking for. Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Understand? No. Mom, that's Kay. Gets all the credit. Started making sure people felt welcome back when I was just a kid. She had one rule. No causing trouble. Everyone abided by it. Put their differences aside when they came through the door. After a few years of feeding so many mouths, we needed extra credits to stay afloat. Didn't mean for this to turn into a business, but here we are. If folks are willing to pay a little to have some place to feel safe and get a decent meal, well then we'll sure take it. Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Always nice to see a first face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. I can't steal this guy's glass. Please. Why can't I just... Oh, now... Oh, I got caught stealing? What? What just happened? Do you know why this place has stood for so long? I make sure everyone's coming. I was just picking up a glass. And then they stole my pierogies. What a fucking joke. I think this is working. I only have a general view of things. But you should be near the first junction box. That's it. Great job. So, that trip to secondary breaker. That goes to... Oh, wow, really? They wired it like that? Jeez, okay. Okay, got it. Next one is way down past Jake's. And maybe up a story or two? It's Fuck your level high. design. Sorry. Oh. Uh, okay. Requires computer, requires computer, requires computer, requires computer. Sarah Morgan. Oh. Okay, put that fucking... I'm, turn it off. Where could the computer be? How do I do this, like, without an amp? Our games need Deus Ex Quake, Doom, Jump, Grunts. I agree. 100% agree. This game would be 25% better. Hello. Welcome to the Trade Authority. If you're here on legitimate business, I would be more than happy to help you. Can you unlock if, the door however, above? you are here under false pretense, say, sent by one Miss Tsang of UC Distribution, then I'm afraid you'll find nothing illegitimate here to report to her. And I'd ask that you pass along my request to stop these silly games. So, what'll it be? You unlock the door up above? 
No. Then my disclaimer doesn't apply. Please, let me know. Y no. The trade authority appreciates your- That's my gun. I did not mean to pull out my gun. Even in the well, the trade authority continues to flourish. Okay, so the, whatever computer I'm looking for isn't in here. Unless it's that computer. Is it this computer? No. Okay. Everything good? Oh. Computer. Bucket. Oh wait, amp isn't in. Oh, amp isn't in EMP. You idiot. <laughs> Those are different letters, genius. <laughs> Brain work good. Computer. What the fuck do you mean with a computer? I'm a computer. Oh, I, I don't know if I needed to do that in the first place. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I didn't need to. You should be near the next junction box. This section isn't used very much these days, so it may be a little harder to see. That's the one. Next one's not too far. Dead end. Right down Oops. Oh, I didn't. No, no, I didn't mean to. Right under that apartment they've been driving. No, no, I'm a good boy. Good luck with that, right? I'm a good boy. Kind of playing a good, a good boy, in a in a game like this is kind of um. Stupid. Is that why no one does it? Is that why everyone just plays like a sneaking archer? Whoa! Oh, I'm dizzy as fuck now. Whoa. All right, now this game is going to be good. Oh. Oops, I brought up console commands. Am I going to get... Yeah, you know what? I can't even... I can't even... You can't even goof this. You can't even be like, Haha, wouldn't it be funny if I... Pick this up? Because I'm going to get yelled at for stealing, aren't I? I mean, first of all, I can't even figure out... There we go. And ca own a cart you're stealing. You can't even have fun with that. Okay. You should be near the next junction box. And if those squatters never cleared out, I would suggest avoiding uh, eye contact. It should be fine. What do you mean I've got a 17 credit bounty now? And the lights in here just flickered too. The wiring is worse than I thought. I'm going to work on fixing that little issue while you find the next junction box. <laughs> Just 
I'm gonna finish this quest and I'm gonna call it a stream. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, I think uh, I'm worn out on this game right now. We'll we'll pick it up again next week. I gotta at least see when the game opens up and gets good, but then I feel like I can I can. Have a, a finalish opinion. Okay. The final box I need you to deal with should be right around there. Unfortunately, I just realized you're in for a real tangle of cabling. Like 200 years of Bill and Them's to rewire things. I tried to fix it three years back and was crying by the second day. I gave up on the third. Anyway, there should be a series of secondary breakers you need oh, to before you can access the I could box. I don't remember the order. But flip levers until all those circuits are I out. got here earlier, but the game said no. Game said no, you gotta do this the way I want you to do this. Oh, fun. Man, this is. I sure love the year 2008. Do you mind? Understand what I'm supposed to be doing. I thought I was supposed to turn all the lights on. Yes, I am. Wow, you got it. Really well done. You saved me like a week of work. Why didn't you meet me at the monitoring station near where we met? I didn't even get to use my cool new shotgun this stream. I'll fix that. Hey. Hey. No way. It didn't even it didn't even kill him. It didn't even he didn't even react. He didn't even He didn't even do anything for He didn't even react though. He didn't even like ragdoll or, or squirt blood or nothing. Hello? Hello, NPCs. Thank you? Because thank you. There's no way I could have done that in a reasonable amount of time all by myself. Give me money. Right, sure. Of course. Thanks to your help, I was able to trace the power drain. I know where it's coming from. Unfortunately, the source is exactly where I was afraid it was. The trade authority. Tried so this. That's something that I'll need to deal with. That'll be fun. I can I got a if shotgun. You along, I certainly wouldn't complain. But if not, then this is where we part ways. Whoa. Xbox on. Xbox order pizza. Large. Xbox. Download Hexen HD. Xbox message Obama Xbox send game Halo 3 game invite to Obama
Xbox. Install Uno onto the world server. Whoa! Okay, I gotta, I gotta push her. She's just, for, she's just stuck. Go. Go. So thanks to you, we've got evidence that the trade authority is behind the Falcon. Cool. I don't know if you ever dealt with the trade authority, but Zoe. Okay. I have to go in there, but I really, really don't want to. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go with you. Thanks. Um, I can do the talking. I think. Okay. Go. Oh Jesus fucking Christ! Please. This game is supposed to be good. You'd think. Some reviewers say it is. Some reviewers say it isn't. Some reviewers say it's a 10 out of 10. Which is a choice. Some reviewers say it's a 6 out of 10. Which is a choice. A visit from Mast. How delightful. You'll have to remind me of your name, dear. I'm afraid I can't keep track. Worker drones. I'm Luisa Reyes. Well, you know that because I've been in here three times. Yes, yes, of course you are. And what was it you were accusing me of with absolutely no evidence? The power drain is coming from your building, Zoe. You and I both know it, and now I can prove it. I'm sorry. What? We traced the drain, checked the grid. It led us here. You. You can't talk your way out of this. I'm going to ask you to wait here a moment. I'll be right back. Hawk. Hawk. Okay, just be ready for anything. I don't know if she's going to come out of there with a gun or call in mercenaries or what. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we're prepared to handle the situation. I don't want this to turn out violent if we can avoid it, okay? I won't fire the first shot, but I will fire the last one. Believe me, I really, really hope I am. But I'll tell you, people in my division tell stories of... Okay, you're probably right. Just need to breathe. And pull my shotgun. Time since I've been to Mars. Solar well, system Ms. doesn't Reyes, get a lot of traffic. I apologize for not taking this matter more seriously. I assure you, I will eagerly assist in getting to hey. the bottom of this. No, I. You're not weaseling out of this. We got to the bottom of it. You are the bottom. I appreciate your enthusiasm for your work, but I do a little more research before casting aspersions. Someone has indeed been using this location through which to route electrical power. It is not the Trade Authority. I've had my suspicions for a while, and I've been keeping detailed notes, which I'm happy to share with you. For now, though, what do we do next? I... wait, what? Oh, for heaven's sake. I presume you've been assisting Miss Reyes in tracking down this little problem. Well, clearly there's more work to be done. Oh, good. Why don't you continue the work you've been doing with an assurance that the Trade Authority will compensate you for your time? I'll coordinate things here with Miss Reyes. With Mast's access to the grid, we'll find out who did this soon enough. And why. Presumably, you're the one who's been doing the field work, so... I believe you'll find there's another junction box out there in the well that needs your attention. Okay, well... This is not how I saw this going. For the moment, let's assume this is all legitimate. Okay, so we go get the dead boys. Oh 
Oh man, wouldn't this be a cool game? Wouldn't this be a good ass game? If I could have my my jetpack right now and so I could just squirt up there. Or or if they designed it in a way that you could just get up there. Or if you could like upgrade your jump, you could get up there. But you can't. Um how do I get up? supposed to get up there that guy's name missile <laughs> weapons specialist it's his birth name it's his god-given christian name There's more. Let's just take a look here. Okay. You're going to want to head for box 45A. It should be near Apex Electronics. <laughs> you can't possibly be serious. Are you looking at the same diagram I am? How do I know which one's which? The next one. It's on the same level. I appreciate that you've listened to reason. The junction box should be just nearby. No, I well, I didn't mean to short order. So we I know how to read. Uh yeah, that's what I'm trying to do, but you just took it away from me. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's the game for the night. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the game for the night. Uh. Uh oh. It's not so good. If anything, uh, I, you know, I went into the stream saying, like, I, I wanted to play this again because my thoughts on it were really complicated and I wanted to uncomplicate my thoughts. Um, I do feel like my thoughts have become less complicated. Because cause I, cause I, I don't think the game's very good. Again, you're going to get at least one more stream out of me. I want to see that flying around in space doing all this shit kind of stuff the, the point where the game people say the game gets good i i need to see that but i can tell you that um the game if the game's just more of this ain't very it is not very good so and you know i will say um unlike something like fallout 4 where it was not good, but it got really good reviews. I don't feel the way about this game that I did with Fallout 4. Where I was like, what the fuck is everyone talking about? This game sucks dick. Well, sucking dick is good. This game sucks ass. Um, this game, I feel like, is, is getting a wide variety of reviews. But it's nice to see that it's maybe not getting... It's getting some reviews that are much more in line with how I feel about it. So, um, I, I guess I guess there's a reason. I was thinking about it, I'm like, why are none of the streamers that I watch who, like, played the game, like, day one, no one has, like, really done too many more streams of it. I might have found a reason. Now, that's not to say the game's, like, flopping on Twitch or anything. I think whenever I chose the category, it had like a hundred thousand viewers. 
but the streamers that I like who have similar tastes that I do wonder if they're not liking the game why they're not I don't I don't think the game's very good I would like to get to the No Man's Sky ripoff element because I had fun with those I'd like to get back to that because I find those interesting I'm gonna bet there will be one more stream of this game and then I'm done because right now if I had to give it a score right now I, straight up I would give this shit like a 4 out of 10 um this is this is kind of the exact opposite of the game that I hoped it would be. This is the exact opposite of the kind of game that I want to play. Um, it stinks, which is unfortunate because I I really did kind of think like maybe this is the one. If anything, it is the one. It's the one to make me go. Oh, I'll just never touch a Bethesda developed game again. Thing Bethesda RPG. They are uh, stinky, but we'll see. Hey, maybe the next one's the one to turn the whole ship around. I tried to stay extra long tonight. I tried to give it the benefit of the doubt. I tried to go in wanting to like the game. And um, not really panning out. Is That's unfortunate. But, you know, I'm just happy I didn't pay 60 bucks for it. Like I did with the Fallout 4, and I, I was not happy. So, anyways, that's it for me tonight. No stream tomorrow. I got a ton of stuff I'm doing tomorrow. And Mega64 is live streaming tomorrow, so I'm going to watch that. That's it for me tonight. I'm going to split. I will hopefully be back Monday. Doing um, maybe Zelda on Monday. Zelda or um, maybe Bomb Rush. Uh, you know, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll see. I'll be back Monday, though, hopefully. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for suffering through Starfield. Um, I wish I liked it. I wish you guys liked it. No, wait, wait. No, hold on. I'm, if I didn't like it, I'm glad that. Some of you also don't like it. Some of you like it. Some of you don't like it. I, I, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, uh, not, maybe not happy, but... Um, appreciative. That that's the people who are coming to my stream. Are people who like... Some people like it. Some people don't like it. I like that we got a variety of opinions. I like that very much. It's things interesting... And that's that's cool. I'm gonna get out of here. Um, this game this game killed me. Two and a half hours in. Um, it, we're now five and a half hours in, and I am significantly more dead. I'm gonna split. I'll be back Monday. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry about Starfield. <laughs> Good night.